it's, it's been a rough year. Why does Phil always have to mention that there's a tip skull on the stream? Why does he have to mention if it's a slow day for contributions? And why does he have to bring that up? Big up skier cat. And a very slow day for support. Please tip me. I need tips tonight. I jump on stream. Obviously, I need tips. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes. Pay my utilities. Pay my mortgage. Pay my internet bill. Pay my utilities. Very slow day for support. Been 47 minutes. And only the third tip of the day. I really appreciate that. I need that way more. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes, pay my utilities, pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill, pay my utilities. I'm a positive guy. I focus on positivity. I tell you guys every day on my streams. I'm not a person who revels in hurting others to get over. I will put on positive, fun gameplay content for you guys, and I will continue to be successful that way. And if I fail, I fail, but at least at the end of the day, I can say, hey, it was a slow day. It's been a very slow day for support. Please tip me. I need tips tonight. I jump on stream. Obviously, I need tips. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes. Pay my utilities. Pay my mortgage. Pay my internet bill. Pay my utilities. Very slow day for support. Been 47 minutes. And only the third tip of the day. I really appreciate that. I need that way more. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes. Pay my utilities. Pay my mortgage. Pay my internet bill. Pay my utilities. Please. Hello everyone, welcome. I need tips tonight. I need welcome. To over the weekend. I appreciate those who contribute in any way. Please if you tip me, do that rather than these super chats and, and membership. I need that way more, okay? My life today is the best I've ever had. And I mean that. Like every day I feel like is the best day of my life. Your life is nothing. I love my life. I have so much fun every single day. You're bagging. I love my life. I have so much fun. Everyone hates me. I have an emptiness in my life. Oh man, there's something huge missing from my life. I need a large group of friends. All I do is sit around drinking gin all day. Ladies and gentlemen, I play mobile games. Yes, I spend money on mobile games. I love my life. I have so much fun every single day. You're bagging. I love my life. I have so much fun. You're bagging. Me. I love my life. I have so much fun. Every single day. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I love my life. I have so much fun. Everyone hates me. You're still bagging for $10 donations and $20 donations to pay your electric bill, to pay your fucking rent, alright? I get it. I'd hate me too. See you, Phil. Have a good one. Do you have a sheet? Say something, some bitches can't take this dick, son, they just can't take it. No, it's too big, daddy, it's too, you're doing it too hard, too fast. I beat you with a fucking pistol grip, fucking pistol grip, fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face, I would destroy your face. Oh, I did not pass it, I beat you with a fucking pistol grip, fucking pistol grip, fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face, pulverize, I would destroy your face, pulverize. You know people don't like fat people. You've seen people isolate you because you're fat. Because you're fat, you can't see a dick. Because you're fat, you can't see pussy. I don't really have life. I don't really have sex because I'm fat and weak. You'll never be thin. It ruins everything. You'll never be thin. It ruins everything. Wings of depression, wings tears, wing ting, wing ting. John Rick, Lord of the Wing, John Rick, Ron's ankle. Fat tits of lardation. It ruins everything. Welcome to Banner World. I beat you with a fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. Fucking pistol grip. I would destroy your face. Alright, we're gonna start soon. We're gonna look at some Twitter, some Snort Burnell, some QA. <laughs> We're gonna find out how getting a job is not even fantasy. It transcends fantasy. Pulverize, 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 pulverize. I would destroy your face.
All right, we're gonna start after this V6 Mustang style chill. All right, sound good. Carry done. 2014 Mustang. 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 Red. 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 With a black racing stripe. V6. It's a V6. Driving a Mustang. Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They do something like that. Dick. Driving a Mustang. Mustang. Bitches don't give a fuck. They do something like that. Dick. You're still on mission one. Mustang. Mustang. Driving a Mustang. Mustang. It's a beast. I love my life. Driving a Mustang. Mustang. Driving a Mustang. Mustang. It's Your a beast. Biggest bitch in my car. I'm fucking a porn star. for the membership uh, 50915 for three months that's awesome man enjoy your red carried diamond it's a v6 all right we're gonna start after this song go through some twitter go through some champions uh go through some catching up i don't know i don't know it's a freestyle to v6 Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Let me hear a round of applause for everybody here. Yeah! Yeah, fantastic. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna be watching uh, fucking Dark Side Phil. You, you know what it is already. Uh, he had an impromptu uh, fucking <laughs> Q&A last night, because I guess he was tired of playing Resident Evil, or he beat it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but let's go to, uh, let's start from here, right? Instantly, we go straight up into the, the WWE Champions uh, rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Let me just play some background music. Some Hotline Miami style chill. All right. All right. Oh, he wage quit it. Okay, we're going to see the clips from that first. Uh, we got a guy called TJ Gamebox on, on Kiwi Farms. Uh, who is going to explain to us how much money DSP spent for this current event. Now, there are different loot crates you can buy. They cost fucking $100. That's crazy good. And I know this guy for real plays champions because I've, I've seen his YouTube channel. And I know he uploads videos and he actually plays champions the same way that DSP plays it, I guess. And uh, yeah, so let's see. The cheap coin thing is... $518. There's expensive coin thing that is five, uh, 419 and his points minus TJ's. He spent $4 on one coin and got shards and he has like a, a million points. All right. Uh, in a week that is $900 at minimum for this last week to qualify with the, with the score. Because you see here down from the Raptors guy, he has like 6 million score for the fucking event. This guy is crazy. And you can see all the, the, the different garbage, how, how expensive it is. So yeah, he spent what? Uh, 932 at minimum during this week. Fantastic. And we were kicking it off with this. Of course, he loves it. It's, it's great. Then let's go to his Twitter. This is from yesterday. 
the the Resident Evil 4 shilling, fantastic shilling of course. He said it's uh, first he hyped it up, good morning, good evening, whatever, we're gonna be playing the game. And then, I have finished Resident Evil 4 early and now I'm gonna do a live Q&A stream with chatters. It would be great if you could swing by and support the stream, as it has been very slow tonight. Thanks! <laughs> so let's see those clips, we're gonna go see those clips. I think you, uh, we could uh, we could first go and see the the Snort Brunel stuff, but actually, because I don't know who uploaded the clips from him last night. Let's just see the DSP Gaming, the raw channel. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, let's see. The last time he played Resident Evil and how it ended. Now this is, of course, they're out of order because why wouldn't they be? Now here you have 24, <laughs> then you have the Q&A that took place after the gameplay, then you have 25. And then you have a daily wrap, which I have no idea when it took place, probably after the, the stream itself. So let's see the, the end of this one. It should have it. All right, let's see Phil. Find out. And of course, he's quiet as fuck, he ruins everything. Can't even play music on my own stream, asshole. You'll soon hide. Now this from the beginning, let's see. Uh, big ups to the Eclectic Academic for $5 Super Chat. As uh, your neighborhood US Army Cryptolingual Cybersecurity Analyst, I now hunt Russian spies for Turkish military intelligence. Big ups, White Tevin. Big ups for... <laughs> Counting the Russian spies. Don't let him start World War Three, dude. World War Three would be terrible for the economy. Would be ass. Let's see the end of this stream. How it ended, because here I can see a lot of uh, the Xbox, uh, the the game screen. Okay, let's see. Let's see what is the reason. Because he spent what four minutes justifying not playing the game, apparently. Here's, I'm not gonna waste time on Oh yeah, okay, let's see. Here is the, the raw rage quit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for Resident Evil. <laughs> I'm bored to tears. I'm not gonna waste time He's on He's bored to tears, by the way. Tip's goal is 13 of 50. And uh, this is about, I don't know, an hour and a half into gameplay or something. And this is what you get. Baby train, nah, baby. It's not I was making insane at all. amounts of money. Like dirty, rotten. This is way <laughs> too much fucking money for just playing video games kind of money. Uh, big ups, good hustler for the gravy train. Uh, Five dollar tip. Grug loves sweaty man JPEGs. Grug gamble on skeletons on wheelchairs. Offerings of super berries. Grug must have all Hogan's. You better give everything to Grug, man. He deserves it. He's been around since being around was a thing. Big ups, good hustler. The difference is that separate ways is good. Separate ways is the alternate plot line. You get to see what Ada's up to. It adds to everything. This is a complete just waste of fucking time. I don't want to do it. Oh, it sucks. So, guys, thank you. <clears throat> I hope that you guys enjoyed the Resident Evil 4 playthrough of 2022. Yes, this was the 2022. Wait, that was it? He's actually just rage quit the game? He's not going to finish it at all? Thank you. What a fucking asshole. Uh, a good eight years <laughs> after I played it originally back in 2014. Wow. What I can say, like I told you guys, what I can definitely say uh, <clears throat> about... Yeah, I did, didn't finish it. Playing it a second time, I like. What it. can you say? Oh, you liked it more. Good job. Why did you fucking rage quit it? Wage quit it, I mean. Okay. Wage quit it. played all of the classic Resident Evils at the time. If you remember, around that time, I, I played other ones like uh, Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil Zero, Resident Evil, Umbr uh, not Umbrella Chronicles, uh, what's the other one, Co-Veronica? Yeah. So after having played all of them, all right, and now even playing the more modernized ones like Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 7, 8, I actually appreciate this game more. It's called Village, dude. It's not 8. Classic survival horror formula with more... Resident now. Evil Village. Obviously, uh, still... All right, it's a fucking game review. Let's see. Give me the salt. Give me the disaster. And then we're gonna jump right into the the Snort Brunel stuff. We're gonna get through two of those videos because there's two that I want to catch up on. And then we're gonna go and watch the whole Q&A. And it's gonna be trash, obviously. All through January Because it's Phil. I would like to say thank you all very, very much. Yeah, you're welcome. You are welcome. Who helped me out, who supported, who uh, in general always come to watch whatever i do even if it's not a hot new release i really enjoy even if it's trash time around eight years later and i actually think i appreciate i'm it. kidding it's always trash okay 
By the way, Big Papa Pump, I dipped another $2 and said, this doesn't look fun. That section you died in seems like ridiculous design. Yeah, all it is, it's, a, it's an enemy gauntlet. There's no challenge to it. It's just run through and find a way to do it without dying with limited resources. If there's no challenge, why did you quit it? Nah. So anyway, uh, guys, thank why? you so much. Why? I hope that you guys enjoyed Resident Evil 4, the second run. Now, the second fucking the run. Didn't even finish the run. For everyone's, on everyone's mind. Phil, are you going to play this again? Because they're remaking it. Probably, if it's anything like... Resident yeah, he's going to play it again. Come on, it's going to yeah, be a hype yeah. game. It's going to save the streams until they it doesn't and he still begs. We're gonna end it's, up playing it's always the fucking thing. It's going to be super hyped and then... Uh, I think people, they don't care that much anymore. The hype died out. It's it's a all it's the same game. It's just remade. It's the better graphics. You know, uh, I don't see why I wouldn't. But what I would hope is that it doesn't come out within like this year. That would suck. That would really suck if it came out this year because obviously I don't want to replay the same game again. Even with better graphics, modernized design, even if they redesign the levels, I still think like that would be too much of the same game twice in one day. You know, or one day, twice in one year. You know, so I'm hoping that maybe they'll. Take their time. Maybe it'll come out like 2023. They'll polish it. And they'll make it feel like a really new game. That would be pretty cool. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Resident hey, Evil you're 4, welcome. The second run is done, and I really like the game. Thanks a lot, everyone. Fucking nice. Now stop the recording, and, and let's see the unrecorded portion. Is there an unrecorded for this? I think... Let's see. Yeah, unrecorded, of course. There it is. Fucking unrecorded. But this is uh, some other point. This is at 5 of 50. Wow. Let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Say how it's not guilt tripping. It's a fucking business. Thanks for watching. Thanks for chilling with me here tonight. If you're having a good you're time. You're welcome. You're like welcome. We're currently at 74 likes. My goal is to get 100 likes. <laughs> All right? So if you're really I cannot fucking believe this asshole has a likes goal for fucking streams. A likes goal. A goal for likes, man. Come on. Let's get 100. We have over 250. Let's get 100. We definitely hit 100 likes here tonight. Yeah. Now, in addition, thank you so much to those who have re-upped their memberships and <laughs> become a new channel member tonight. He begs for everything. He begs for everything that there is to beg on YouTube. There isn't a thing that doesn't exist on YouTube that he doesn't beg for. Dre, Dre, Holy Dre, shit. And a few other that have come impossible. In. Carlton Jr. For the $4 there should be a, a likes reward as well. Because there's a, a reward for tips. Why not likes? If you're going to beg, then give something in return. But guys, we're an hour into the stream. We've only gotten two tips. We're at five dollars. Oh, right. no. This is the finale of Resident Evil 4. The end of it. Please support the stream. That's okay? what finale means. Like this playthrough all along. You guys were very supportive of this playthrough along the way. You wanted me to do the post game content. You wanted me to do it. I easily could have ended this playthrough weeks ago, but you guys asked me <laughs> over and over during the I hate this. I hate this so much. And he's been doing it for like over 10 years. You guys fucking told me. Your fans, they don't have a unified fucking voice, idiot. Some guy told you, and then you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it. And now it's that fucking guy's fault. Could be anybody. Do this content. Holy so shit. Please support it, please. No, it's your responsibility. It's your fucking stream. Come on. It's not you guys. It's not you guys. Those guys, they don't have fucking responsibilities. You do. Can please tip me tonight? It would be great. Oh, I love my fucking life. I love my life. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine, Gutch. Remember, Gutch, you don't have to be here for every stream. He's not interested in Pokemon. He won't be here for those streams. It's fine. You don't have to be here for every single stream. Appreciate that. Okay. And, and this well, is what also pissed me off. He, he tries to make... Trip, you fucking idiot. This is a business. He <laughs> very much could have been playing something else tonight. I'm it's not a guilt trip. It's my business. And it's also my hobby. It's not a guilt trip. This the fucking idiot. To do it. Which people. Fuck those people. They're idiots. They don't run your business. You run your business. Fuck those people. Fuck everything they say. Fuck you. Trip. It's me being real. Fuck everybody. You Just run your business. <laughs> You're a bitch. This guy is sitting on five bucks and begging, like legit begging, and calls some guy a bitch. No, DSP. You're being a bitch. You're everybody's bitch. You're even my bitch because I get to sit here and, and laugh at you sitting at fucking five bucks and crying about it. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. <clears throat> Holy shit. Somebody else is a bitch. Right, yeah. The guy that actually literally physically sits there and begs. 
That's not a fucking... It's not a guilt tripping, man. It's a fucking business. In and it's my hobby. Let's see this. Now, this is from a couple of days ago. Probably the, the penultimate actual... The penultimate snort Now We're gonna watch this first, then we're gonna watch the latest one. And then we're gonna be completely caught up on, on the entirety of Darkseid Phil's fucking life. Because everything he does takes place on stream. Hey, yeah, that's a pretty fucking epic intro, dude. And of course, now I need to, to level down the volume because this is normal volume. Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. Alright, right, skip, skip, skip. But still contribute in another way. To me. So Java did a $2 super chat and said, I'm not going to tip tonight. Okay, so don't tip. But thank you. Okay, to rip. Perfectly fine. You don't tip. To not send a tip but still you should, though. Really. You, can just, uh, you don't have to, but you should. And chill. Uh, Marcus Skull the Super Chat says, DSP tries having more than 1,800 milligrams of sodium. Okay. Oh, wait. Which DSP tries that had more than 1,800 milligrams of sodium? Probably the Devourer meal. The Devourer. <laughs> half the burgers that I've had. Seriously. <laughs> Definitely that fucking, uh, any of those buttery jack burgers. Java did a $2 super chat and says, my pronouns are they and them. All right. All right. HFH did a super chat asking, when you were growing up with society gender friendly as it is now, uh, when I was growing up, absolutely there was that element but it wasn't ever really talked about seriously like i knew for a fact when i used to play competitive street fighter there was a guy who was very effeminate very effeminate. wait what i didn't care that he was very effeminate you know who gives a shit bro you were calling everybody faggots back in the day you were literally calling everybody fags and faggots what do you mean you're not effeminate you are known for being particularly homophobic to everybody and calling them names that's why people thought you were gay that's why fucking boon k that guy he called DSP gay because he was so fucking homophobic. He was calling faggots everybody. And by the way, I'm not talking about anyone you guys know. This is someone from the community. What the fuck? Um... Oh my god, he's drinking gin. Yes. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, gin. But it was like no one ever talked about <laughs> Like it wasn't like it was either you were a guy or a girl. If there was anywhere in between or if you felt, you know, you you were misgendered and some people feeling, oh, I'm trapped in the wrong gender and stuff like that. No, it was not open for discussion back there. The whole, you know, transgender or anything, nothing. There was nothing talked about like that at all. Um, So I knew this guy for a good almost 10 years. And at the end of knowing him for about 10 years, he actually had a gender a gender change. And he changed from, uh, you know, male to female. And all right. Pronoun to she. And man... It was okay. like everyone in the community was shocked and like they couldn't take it. I'm serious. Like they the couldn't take it. That this, that, uh, this person... <laughs> it's like they had to change their gender. <laughs> they couldn't fucking take it that somebody else was doing a, a personal change in their life. Uh, big ups Justice Camp for the tip. Uh, and he says, big ups for the stream. It's been a rough week. Um, I'm sorry for you, man. I hope you get better. And uh, Chad, throw him some prayer hands, please. Spread some positivity. He's had a rough week. Uh, big ups for the contribution had a gender change and they couldn't handle it and some people constantly made fun of this person which I obviously I thought was kind of fucked up that you would make fun of that person just you know because they had a gender change because they felt like they were in the wrong body like you know but again it was a weird thing at that time frame it wasn't a common thing it wasn't a thing that was accepted especially in a street fighter community it was like are you kidding me that was like unheard of seriously junior did a hundred bit years would your parents disown you if you were gay I don't think so no my my aunt was. <laughs> they should d disown him anyways. My aunt was gay her whole life, so I'm All right. sure that my parents would not disown me. <laughs> so but thank you to HFH for super chat. They, they, they didn't give birth to your aunt. <laughs> you know that? I'm sure I did. And then Java <laughs> super chat. No, no one's gonna sit here and talk about. Why is why is there blaring music over this? Is he supposed to be playing a game and just answering questions like this? Stating pronouns and shit like that. <laughs> and if you continue to keep spamming the chat the uh, chat with that. Uh, I'm going to have to kick you out. I don't want wow, you to no. into that, that stuff. It has nothing to do with what we're doing tonight. Uh, I respect it. Everyone has a right to be to feel included. Everyone has a right to be, to be addressed properly. But that's not what the purpose of this chat is. It's a Halo gameplay stream, so fucking stop it. Right now. Oh, yeah, it's Halo. Yeah, he's One playing a game. One. Okay. Okay. Please consider contributing to the stream. Please. Right now, we're Come on. $23 in tips. It sure would be Come on, man. Come that. on. <laughs> Please. I gotta pay bills. Fifty, including a hat at a hundred. Okay. Did you see that bill? It's like nine hundred bucks worth of uh, digital items. The Pikachu hat is eligible tonight. So oh, nice. Nice. 
favorite hats. Those are both eligible tonight. We hit the hundred dollar tip score. Wow, okay. that's pretty awesome. Oh my god, he's drinking sperm. <laughs> what? Because they tried to tell me what, I what? Do on my channel. You're a fucking idiot. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> I didn't expect that. my chat completely, which is not allowed against the rules, and you're out of here. Goodbye. Banned, 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 banned. God. Forever. It's fucking gone. Oh, let's see this terrible aim. Look at this. Oh, no. What? Look at this reaction. What? I hit him like one time. All those bullets were into the head. None of them registered to give no. him a melee attack and killed him. No. Wow. No. No. Look at this Man. garbage. This garbage gameplay. He hit him like one time. Gone. Forever. Terrible. Look at this. Miss, 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 hit, hit, died. <laughs> and then he gives you like, what? I hit him, man. I hit him every time. Yeah, into the head. Wow. Wow. They didn't register. Literally didn't hit him. Because with the detractors, we'll talk about the bullshit. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I'm playing the game. I can't really pay attention to what's going on in chat, and I apologize. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were an interactive streamer. I thought you were one of the few people in life that could do that. That could play a game and look at chat and have an amazing, wonderful conversations. I thought you could do that. And it turns out you fucking can't. For real, the streamers talk about their genders and stuff. That has nothing to do at all with my content. As you guys know. I am someone who believes. Just let him talk about right fucking right genders, right? man. Gender you are, no, nobody know. fucking ask you. Just fucking let him talk about whatever. Preferences. I don't care what the color of your skin is. I just don't give a shit. Go ahead and be happy. I, you know, I accept everyone. Go but ahead and be happy. My business. Derail you know, my you know, business. You know, holding about you, right? <clears throat> oh my God, he's drinking salt. Would be great if you. He's <laughs> drinking the salt. Channel member, he graduated. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. Right now, it'd be great if we get some more tips to help hit our tips goals for the night, including. Gunner glasses at fifty dollars, and you get to pick a hat at a hundred. Okay. And destroyed. What is the excuse for this one? Too much lag. The developers. I. I uh, this is one of my personal favorites. The developers lie about the latency. They lie about the ping. That's what they do. They sit there all day programming ways to lie about the ping. <laughs> Great gameplay. Okay, hit, 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 but he's hitting his fucking legs with a with a pistol. Fuck this! What a waste of time. No, no you're ass, you're bro. But you can't leave. You do it penalize. Stop like being oh, trash. Your connection is bad. Your connection to the server is terrible, and they punish you if you want to quit the game. Shooting him in the legs. <laughs> terrible. Oh my God, he's drinking gin. It would be great if we can get some more content. Yeah, this time it was just gin, not sperm or salt our tier one goal for the night so please if you like this stuff please contribute and support it if you can all right guys but a half an hour left on the stream again guys i hate to keep asking but it'd be great if you guys are enjoying the stream if you could support it it's i hate to keep asking man uh, but so i need that money so what happens now one hit one hit the rest is just blanks hey, well he hit him a couple of times how are you gonna die now, DSP? Come on! Oh my god! What? Couldn't fire! He was coming around the corner, I fired, nothing happened. I His reactions are so slow, because he was tracking him through the corner, and he knew exactly where to expect the guy to show up, and he did! And DSP still didn't shoot. It wouldn't even allow me to Holy fire fuck. 15 millisecond connection. Fuck you, 343, you're lying! Didn't allow him to fire, to fire his gun. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Oh, he may you traded. No. He wasn't he dead. Was going down, he bit my dead on my screen. God, three, four, three. Yeah. Over eighteen hundred. And he's one of the few fucking assholes. And I know that's what he's infamous for. I'm not saying anything new, but he fucking the way he insults game developers for no fucking reason, man. He just has to name drop them to make like as much as a personal attack as he could. Because that's what, what he loves doing. He loves making the, the the personal attack. Milligrams of sodium. This is one of the saltiest things. That's if he knew the name of the creative director, he would be name dropping him. So close. It would really be great if we could hit the, the glasses. Yeah, it would be fucking great if I got $5 million. That would be great. I know we're probably not hitting any other goals, but it would be great if we could at least hit the glasses goal. Okay? Thank you. No, no overtime tonight, guys. Cash oh, okay, so he hit it. Spend some time together. 
Well, hit that 50. Uh, we a lot Hashtag hit that 50. I gotta go out and run all my errands and then we come back home. Well, I come back home. My wife will probably stay home just relax tomorrow. Which is fine. What the fuck is all that noise? Your helicopters. She's getting rescue. swatted again. No helicopters and rescue vehicles in the game. <laughs> trash. Trash gameplay. I couldn't do anything. I spawned with two guys right here. There's nothing I can fucking do, you fucking idiots. What? Bro. Bro. I thought these games were supposed to be fucking fun. He gets massively negative every time. Of and it, it would actually be worse if he was playing with other people, because I've had friends like this that just get uh, irrationally toxic playing games like that, and it's borderline unplayable with them. It just sucks playing with them. Jesus. Especially like team based games. Right. Oh, this sucks ass, man. Hey, big ups, perk. What's up? And again, miss, miss, miss. Well, he get he got some hits, like one or two, but he's gonna get clapped now because I don't know why. Why does he walking around with the with the sidearm? All right, and he has no health. He's gonna get clapped immediately. He's throwing grenades for some reason, and... Alright, that was interesting. I have no idea what, what happened here. What? He had no shields! I fired on him with the gun and melee, nothing registered, he killed me. How are you gonna tell me that this is a good connection? They're out of their fucking minds, they're blatant liars. This is the worst, nothing I'm doing is registering at all. <laughs> what if it turns out in the end, uh, that... That it's just his internet's problem and they didn't wire it properly or it's just like he's on Wi-Fi or there's a problem in the router and all the issues ever that have ever happened with like Street Fighter and other fighting games and all the excuses and bullshit is just his fault because his wife because uh, his uh, house internet is shit What I was inside a room and a fuck this Fuck this shit. I don't even care. If it punishes me for five fucking minutes, I don't care. This is trash. He rage quit! He rage quit! The 40 year old man oh rage quitting. God, he rage quit. Are you fucking serious? This is fucking trash. That's not gonna be my last game of the fucking night. That terrible fucking connection. <laughs> not gonna be my last game of the fucking night. Awesome. 30 milliseconds. Fuck you. You fucking liars. You can't take it. They're lying about the ping again. Of course, that's all they do. They just sit there and lie. Be like Call of Duty. Call of Duty doesn't do it. Call of Duty hides their what? pings. Because they know their pings are so fucking bad that they lie about them by, by hiding them and acting like they're good when they're not. So just hide it like Call of Duty. If you can't maintain a steady good connection, fuck it. Don't put it up there because don't tell me I have a 20 millisecond connection. When the guy's right in front of me, I go fire, 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 melee, and the game says, oh, he meleeed you first, you're dead. Uh, maybe now, he has a high ping? I don't, I don't know. When that shit happens, I don't know. I don't know. It... I don't know. I don't make enough excuses like this to know even where his complaint comes from. Because if I fucking die in a game and it was laggy, I just say, ah, fuck it, it was laggy, I died. I died in a video game one time. In this video game that you die all the time. You die all the time in those games. Imagine if you got toxic and made an excuse specifically for every single time you die. That's fucking outrageous. I'm just you would become fucking... Delusional kind of by the time you're done with the game. I the truth. I'm probably one of the best overall gamers in the country. It's garbage. Oh, guys, thank you. Thank you very hey, much. It's 62. Great That's a positive number. With my rage, as you know, I think it's warranted. As you can see, how some matches everything works because there's no lag, and then another match when it claims there's no lag, there's tons. Anyway, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your support tonight. Thanks for a, a great uh, Halo Infinite stream until later this week when i attempt to finish up the event i'll see you then cool we need to raise more money obviously what i'm saying here is that all of you should immediately empty all of your wallets just obviously that's what i'm saying too your finances to me your obviously account. only massive pure tipping contributions now let's go to the the newest one and then we're completely caught up we can dive into the q a question and answer this is how I play the game! The question and rambling, I guess. Let's see him uh, be racist for a bit. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. Wait, does he really play on Wi-Fi? I, I can't believe this, because he's supposed to be a real gamer with two 
lines of internet. I can't believe if he plays on Wi-Fi. Would be the biggest clown in life. Maddie, there is no YouTube Christmas money. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, you know what they're talking about. You flex all the time that around Christmas, the revenue is better and you get like more ads and everybody wants to promote their stuff more. So usually you get more money. You know what everybody's talking about, man. What the fuck? You pre-order the games with your YouTube Christmas money? Yeah. First of all, there's no reason to pre-order games digitally at all. It gives you no advantage. It, it may um, there's a discount. There's like 10, 15% discount usually. An additional digital unlock. There's no reason to ever pre-order a game anymore like that. It was one thing when you... No, I don't know about the Wi-Fi. I'm just, uh, yeah. Um, I saw somebody in chat saying it. ...copy physically at a store. Pre-ordering a game digitally is scamming yourself. If you're wasting your time and money and giving the money to these people early, then, you know, what are they doing that for? You're getting nothing out of it. But no, there's no YouTube Christmas money. The hell are you even talking Yeah, there about? is. <laughs> yeah, literally. Even Snor Brunel said it on the screen. Because, fucking, man, DSP, you told us about it. You literally told us about it. What? G, on Christmas... Was there a giant bonus for people who streamed on YouTube? Did we all make like $5,000 extra? No, 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 no. Of course, he's taking the phrase Christmas YouTube money and trying to dissect it in a weird semantic way to, to say, well, this is not what it's, it's supposed to be. Well, no, you know very well what they asked you about. The inflated ad revenue around holiday times. That's what they fucking ask you about. But no, we're going to pretend nothing happened because he already got the money. He already has this money. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. So it doesn't even matter anymore. It didn't happen. There's no proof of it. There's no proof of him admitting anything. Nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> I really don't. I love my life. Uh, YouTube Christmas money. That's very interesting. I love oh, my, my life. Now, you want to know where my money goes to this time of year? I'll tell you. Bills. Um, taxes. Phil's blowing his money on DoorDash. DoorDash. Phil's blowing his money of on course. Mobile games. Phil's blowing his mobile money games. On taxes. You know, paying back taxes and paying the final Chill taxes. taxes. Where I can file my new taxes for the year and paying my tax attorney, who I, I, I've been, you know, paying gradually over the last year for all the work that he does for me. And I'm still owing money before I can then have to prepay so that he'll file my taxes for this year. So all my money is gone. I mean, oh, I made all this money. Wrong. All that money goes immediately out the door to build. All my money is I gone. I just sent a $1,000 payment yesterday on my day off. I had to make a $1,000 payment. Zoop, gone. You know, nothing makes me trust a person less than when they constantly ask for money and it literally always evaporates. This is when I trust people the most when there's a person like that. You know what I mean? And that's life when you're an adult, your money just whoop, goes up. Yeah, the door, when you're a fucking adult, right out. There's no, oh my God. What I about savings? That I could go frivolously spend no, nobody said anything like that. Nope. No, 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 no. That's not even a part of discussion. Nobody said this. Nobody said there's a giant frivolous payment that you can go and just spend. Nobody said this because you literally beg every day. If there was a such thing, we would know about it because you would flex with it. All over the place. It's not what? It's, you want to know the truth? Last time that happened was before I moved out. Hey, Brock, what's up? Truthfully. Like when I, as soon as I moved out here, that was it. As soon as I got this place. No. Nope. Nice but man, you know, expensive mortgage. Well, yeah, you're really fucking stupid, man. And sadly, my YouTube channel getting hit should have got a shitty little apartment that you can rent and then you wouldn't beg every day with all the trolling and everything that i lost a lot of my income and i never really re recovered and got back to the level where i was many years ago before i moved out here and yeah you never will there you go. no it that's um uh, it's a bygone era when that money comes now it's the modern era it's gone it's gone but anyway yeah that's it Boop. you know it's hilarious people who just want to talk per about my personal shit and say oh i made a ton of money the money's already paid bills it's gone <laughs> you know any bonus that oh he made bonus money i didn't make a ginormous amount of bonus Ooh. money over the holidays in fact not a ginormous made bonus money didn't make it this year wonder why because what did i do in november i'll tell you what i did I oh yeah i'll tell you what he did because he's too lazy he turned off the fucking uh actually he left the music on when he was playing games and then it, he got demonetized oh no he got claimed the grand theft auto trilogy with the music yep. on so i made no ad music on, on. I played Horizon Forbidden West with the music on, so I made no ad revenue on that. And I played Guardians of the Galaxy with the music on, so I made no ad revenue on that. So where I would have actually made bonus money, I made zero. I went from, oh, I actually get an increase to, I lost money that month from what I would usually make. So there's nothing. People are just dumbasses who say dumb shit. Um, You're, are you all right, people are dumbasses. Your parents' life insurance money? The guy that begs is very I mean, smart. Who doesn't like money? Come on, man. <laughs> not going to say it all. Uh, big ups for I, Drake for two months of support. Money. I'm not a liar. For two months of membership, dude, COVID, that's cool. But I swear to God, it doesn't what? matter what day you go out. There's crazy amounts of people everywhere. Like, okay. what happened with COVID that people don't have to go to school and work anymore? Huh? Like, did everyone just quit their jobs and now they have free money or something? I don't what? understand what's going on. 
because, like, for I'll give you a perfect example, okay? Yesterday... This guy's a fucking retard, Jesus Christ. He complains about going out and there pe being people outside that bother him just by existing. Just by fucking existing. They bother him. It's midday. It's probably like it's maybe midday. 1 p.m. So it's not even like, oh, people are getting out of work or whatever. It's early. So I'm driving to go, you know, I was going to go pet store and a few other things I needed to do and then go to the, go grocery shopping. The fucking traffic was insane. Okay. It's like there's people everywhere. Yeah. Go move to the forest. I don't know. Live in the woods. There is, uh, there's people in the city. They usually live there. The whole roads are congested. Yeah. Right? And you live in America. It has a lot of people there. The perspective, the people aren't driving any better. They're driving fucking worse. Like every asshole. Okay. Now. Like maybe you drive worse. How about maybe you drive worse? Maybe you can adapt to people driving like shit. Maybe that's the fault. Because it's your problem. Christmas all year now. You're Christmas having that like problem. Like, what is going on? I thought that it was supposed to be, you know, people are staying home and <laughs> trying to stay healthy. Or on the flip side of that, what? you know, people are back to work now. Like, what is happening? Stay home and what? Go homeless? That everywhere is so super busy. Everywhere now. Yeah, that's that's know. what you do. You stay home, you get no money, and you move out uh, on the street. I don't understand this because it used to be so different, right? And, and it drives me nuts because it doesn't make... I, I don't know. Maybe I just don't understand what's going on. Yeah, you definitely I'm don't. Light, I'm driving. A guy on a fucking motorcycle in the other lane cuts in front of me to make a turn. Like, I'm not kidding you. I had to slam on my fucking brakes to not hit this fucking guy. <gasps> Should have oh hit him, man. God. Come on. We could have seen a cool, fun arc. The DSP manslaughter arc. That would have been hilarious. What are you, an asshole? The answer is yes. Rest in peace, that other guy. Asshole. You're too dumb to realize how vulnerable you are. You're cutting off cars. If I hit you, you die. Do you not understand? <laughs> when you're on a motorcycle? If I hit you, you die. I have very high attack damage I on my car. car. You can't get into a fender bender and everything. <laughs> you, you will die, by the way. If I hit you, you will die. Okay, your insurance. Just because like if you get COVID, you will die. There are things that is like it puts a, a debuff on you, an instant status effect, and you instantly just fall and die. That fucking car, you're dead. You fucking idiot. This guy looks life like a, a video game. He has simplified everything about life to like an extent where it's just like a video game. He's become a fucking NPC. That's his brain capacity as a fucking NPC. And we're at the point in, in DSP Saga where he can just go outside and be baffled by reality. He's just baffled. Oh my god, there's people outside, and they drive bad, and I go to the store, and, and people are buying stuff at the store? Seriously. So Holy shit. I'm, get this. This is a good one. I'm driving. Is it a good one? two-lane road. Oh, this is the racism part. Let's see. Okay. And a third lane emerges on the left-hand side of the road in the middle because people turn onto the highway there. So basically, it's a turning lane just to get onto the highway. Sadly, at certain times of the day, this, this lane backs up. It used to only be around rush hour, but now it's every fucking moment of every day. Because like I said, I don't know where these people are coming from, but the roads are full of people at all times now, okay? So it's like 3 p.m., and the road looks like it's rush hour, even though it's not. So I'm just driving. I'm in the right lane, okay? To the left of me and slightly in front of me is an SUV, and then to the left of that SUV is the turning lane to get on the highway. Well, okay. the turning lane is backed all the way up, kind of almost veering into the lane. So this person... Who's right? So I'm I'm here, they're here, without looking, without turning on a signal, okay? Literally is looking at the, the backed up cars and swerves around the backed up car in front of me. Just without looking. Like they they didn't look at all. They, they were gonna hit me. I had to slam on my brakes it's the second time. The same driving trip. I had to slam on my fucking brakes. Like, ah! And the car fucking cuts me off like this, just <laughs> one car and then goes right back. <laughs> I, I can't even imagine this. This would have been fucking hilarious. I know, who the fuck is this? Bro, I wish I was fucking stalking DSP in real life. I really do. It would be so fucking fun looking at him go through the day. I guess not stalking, but let's say I, I had a camera crew and was just following him around. It's like some, some weird like documentary style bullshit. So I speed up and I'm looking. I swear to you, I swear to God. Who is it? It's a, a tiny elderly Asian woman. Holy shit. Doing this. La, 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 What do they say in China? La, 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 I'm not making it up. She's singing a song. There are times when maybe I'm like, man, I'd like to make a racial comment here or there. So, yeah, every once in a while. Oh. Yeah, be honest, of course. She's not looking at the road. She has her head up like this, singing at the ceiling. La, 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 I was like, what the fuck? Should have crashed into her to wake her up. Who gave her an SUV to drive? This is the same shit. Uh, this reminds me of the time when he was shitting on, like, the 11-year-old the girl saying, uh, who gave you a fucking PC? 
because the guy loves gatekeeping people, man. He loves gatekeeping them. So if you drive like shit, you shouldn't be driving an SUV. You're not allowed to have it. Doesn't matter if you bought it or it's somebody else. You're not allowed to have it because he doesn't approve you of having it. <laughs> no wonder I was got murdered. She's not even looking at the fucking road. <laughs> oh my god, you drive me nuts. It really does again. It didn't used to be like this. I used to purposely go out on weekdays, midday, to avoid this. I know this is the kind You're of fucking idiot. Why would you go midday? Go early in the morning. Not not early, but like yeah, so not I early. I purposely said no. I'm gonna go out on a different time. Now it's just like this constantly. Every fucking asshole is out there on the road. It's like, why aren't you? Bro, maybe. What? Why aren't you at work, dipshit? Really? Like, how are you paying for gas for your giant gas guzzling? What? So you can drive around the road like this, <laughs> dude. There's there's something that they teach you at school that is called look at your own paper and it's very useful in life and this guy constantly looking at other people's fucking paper. Why aren't you at work? You don't fucking know the guy. You don't know anything about literally anybody else. And he is like so baffled by society. It's like a guy literally fucking living in a cave and he goes outside and he's he's annoyed by how bright the sun is, annoyed by how... The other people, they don't look as pale as him. They don't look like they've been living in a cave. And it's constantly angry about him. For any reason that he can come up with. Any reason whatsoever. Why aren't you at work? He instantly made a narrative about some random guy that he should be at work right now. And not driving on the public road. <laughs> like, what is going on? Holy fuck, man. I, you know. That's the definition of a drama queen. Seriously. If people basically just said... Enough of this shit. If they just said, you know what? Here's the deal. We like Street Fighter. We want to keep it alive. Oh, no. Right. Bullshit Street Fighter yeah, nonsense. Like I hate this so much. And he he was competent enough to show this on his stream. So you guys, at this point, you know that he's able to put up stuff on his stream. Basically, just... He's an interactive said, guy. Enough of this shit. If they just said, you know what? Here's the deal. We like Street Fighter. We want to keep it alive. All right? We do. We support Capcom. We like the fact that even though maybe they didn't have the talent this time around to pump out a game as good as Street Fighter 4... At least they tried. The graphics of the game actually are quite good. It sucks that the game released with tons of input lag. It was one of the biggest failed launches of any fighting game ever. It didn't even work for two months. But, they, you know, they did get the game back on track. They got a competitive scene for it. It's good, good on them for supporting it as long as they did. All right? But, but, how fucking long are you going to ask us to keep spending money on the same fucking game? Seriously. How many times do you have to keep buying an expansion pass for this game? And by the way, every time that there was an expansion pass, they rebalanced the game. So not only do you have to learn four I have nothing to add to this. This is worthless. Then they're rebalancing the game every time it happens. And now you gotta relearn your characters from the ground up. It feels like another game, you know? Um, now, by the way, it's not that Capcom had never done this before. All right, it's not. It's not that Capcom had never done this before. All right, by the way, here you go. Everyone who's complaining about this segment, shut up the fuck up right now. <laughs> uh, no. Imagine allowing yourself to be talked like that by this fucking human being. Anybody else but this fucking guy. This piece of shit. This waste of fucking skin. Sitting there asking you for money every day. Asking you for money. And then telling you this shit. Telling you to shut the fuck up. Or he will exercise the only power that he has in his life. The only power he has. He can't even pick which day he's gonna be off. Can't even pick that himself. But he can tell you to shut the fuck up. And you're supposed to take it. You're supposed to take it. And some people are interested. If you don't like it, come back after the podcast is over. What do you hear on a podcast? It's not a podcast. It's, it's not a podcast. Shut the fuck up and stop complaining. I, I'm tired of people coming on my podcast to shit on it. Imagine if, if, if you tell him shut the fuck up and stop complaining when he's asking for tips. Fuck off. Really, <laughs> come back when it's gameplay and then you'll be Come back when it's fucking game gameplay. Fucking it's worthless. Podcast. I'm tired of your dumb shit. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. I drink. Yes, I actually drink. Yes. Mm. Mm. When Capcom made Street Fighter V, it was a flop. So they said, how do we make more money because we didn't sell enough copies initially? We'll just keep expanding it every year, and all those suckers are going to keep spending $20, $30 every fucking year and line our pockets with all the money we should have made at launch, but we didn't because the game sucked at launch. And that's literally what they did, and people just couldn't see out through it. I don't know how. I don't know how you get so obsessed with a game or a community that, like, you can't see past... 
the scam. It really was a fucking scam. Every year you had to spend that money to get four more characters. And you have to relearn the game and all that shit. And the game wasn't even fucking good. That's the thing that gets me on top of all of it. It wasn't good. I suck. It had some of the worst game mechanics of any number Street Fighter. I mean, not to say that Capcom hasn't made worse games. They absolutely have made worse Street Fighter games, like fucking Capcom Fighting Jam and shit. Oh, fuck. But still, the point I'm making here is it's not even a great game. And these people got so hooked on it because it was the only Street Fighter game available that they just kept spending, spending, spending. And they don't see. They don't see it for what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Happy Tart did another Super Chat. Is this an issue the audience doesn't care about? No, Happy Tart, it's an issue you don't care about. You are not the entirety of my audience. You realize that... In the 14 years I've been a content creator, there's many people who've tuned in to watch me do fighting game stuff over the years, and they might find a topic that's a little bit different intriguing. Just because it's not in line with everything I'm normally doing every day on stream doesn't mean it's not an interesting topic to talk about on a podcast. If you don't like the topic, you can leave the podcast and come back later, but just sitting here incessantly bitching in Super Chat just makes you look like a little, you know, entitled child. You're very annoying. My streams, ladies and gentlemen, are meant to be a place where everyone can feel safe and everyone can have a good relaxing time with games, period. There's still this back here, and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my WWE mind. WWE champions, the fucking you. time. WWE champions. Yeah, sorry I was out during the segment. It's fucking Street Fighter discussion, man. That's that's, that's what you're gonna get. It's it's worthless nonsense. Now let's get into let's get the Hotline Miami music back. I fucking love having some background music for this, and uh, let's just dive in it. Let me just uh, give some shout outs real quick. Uh, Big us, Paul J. Brazel. For uh, the two dollar super chat, the bubble that is the United States of fucking Phil. Yeah, I wonder when that bubble's gonna burst. It's gonna be like Bitcoin, dude. <laughs> it's gonna explode. And uh, big ups, Black Mage Triple Six for the dollar super chat. Asian drivers are worse than 9/11. Kobe Bryant dying and losing his Kotor saves combined. Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kobe. By the way, I think he. It, it's like two years today, which is very fucking sad. And, uh, yeah, rep, uh, rest in peace to Gigi as well. Girl was young. She had the future ahead of her, man. That fucking sucks. Why couldn't be Dark Side fucking Phil instead? Let's go. The Raw Uncut Impromptu Vlog with viewers. All right, guys. So we're doing some impromptu Q&A tonight. Coming off of a stream where I finished Resident Evil 4. Uh, let's see what you guys want to talk about. First of all, Castro Jenkins just re-upped his membership for eight months. It says, what's your thoughts on DNF Dual Game? I have no idea. Uh, nothing. Is. There's no opinion. I, I it's no opinion, Phil. Phil. So I can't answer that. <laughs> no take, Phil. Uh, Monica Levi says, if I were to give up live streaming tomorrow, could do any other profession, what would I see myself doing? I have no idea. Um, a street beggar. That's not realistic. I don't, my mind. Oh, yeah. We, we, very straight up from that. We kick off with with getting a job is unrealistic come on all right this is how I we kick off the fucking stream real i only really start to think about stuff when it becomes a reality like for example yeah cause um, that's why you're fucked up that's why you're fucked up holy shit this is way too loud that's why you're fucked up because you have zero plans zero idea that's why you're fucked up i would like to open up a business like a restaurant never happening that business would be failed within like a month Tomorrow, if I stopped streaming, I would not be able to get a job. So it would be the end of my yeah. life, potentially. You know? Yeah. Uh, I would have Th that is true. Into real life but, like, no, you can't ease yourself. First, you need to build some skill set. You can't do shit. You don't know anything. And fucking jobs that would hire you is more complicated than dragging and dropping a fucking video into YouTube. Come on. It's ridiculous. You can't ease yourself in the market when the market doesn't want you. In any way, you you don't have any capacity to be a worker. You can't do anything. Not a physical job, not anything. Nothing. Like, actually nothing that he's worth of. I don't have these fantasy for the market. situations that I say, you know, there's no way. That I could just stop streaming now, immediately go Yeah, it's a fantasy. Getting a job is a fantasy to him. Get a job. This is how fucked up he is. It's, not gonna it's actually a fantasy. That's not reality. So I don't even... I'm the kind of guy, I'm very logical mind. I don't even fantasize about that. Oh... If I could get out of streaming and do something else, I'd like to do this. And no, I don't even think about it. This I don't think about it. Then what do you think about? Just begging until you die? Until the day you fucking kick the bucket live and everybody laughs? Is this your end goal? Why in life? Why? I have no idea, honestly. Things that cannot happen. Right? Why sit there and Because then all you're going to do is you're going to end up being sad that it can't happen. Right? Think about things that are possible. Right? 
That's what I was saying. Think about things that are possible. I can transition my way. Like out. what? Like hoping? Like hoping? This is what you, th you your fucking business plan is. It's hoping somebody swings by and gives you a tip. Think about things that are possible. What things are possible? Nothing is fucking possible for you. You can't do anything. You can't go anywhere from here. You can't go anywhere. There's no progression from this. You can't grow this fucking deadbeat channel. This is garbage. Even this video has like zero comments and 24 likes. This ain't shit. Maybe do half and half where I could do this and maybe try to get a part time. No, job. half and half. He's going to bitch so much. Do that, but do I want to do that? No. This is the best job I've ever had. Yeah, he's hoping he is clinging on to the gifted subs. So then he can experience a fake fucking growth. And then they're going to drop every month. Then only Ice Coffee is going to spend some more money on gifted subs. And it's going to be that bullshit cycle. Of him trying to tell his fans that he's growing and the channel is doing great. And his fans buying sock accounts and buying gifted memberships to make him look like he's growing. And it's going to be this mutual delusion. Why would I... But the, the problem with this is that he's the only one fucking involved. Because his fans can give up on him and leave anytime. Anytime they can leave. And he just stays. He remains. He's like young lean. Big ups, uh, kid film for kid flim for the sub. So, <clears throat> I don't like these fantasy questions people ask me all the fantasy time. Fantasy question about getting a fucking job. Imagine, imagine you you have a friend who's been telling you all the time how he has no money for anything, and you suggest to him, how about you can you know you can get a job? Nah, man, that's fucking fantasy. It's a fantasy question. Ridiculous things. I, I'm just it's like Lord of the Rings. Him getting a job is equivalent to fucking Game of Thrones. I'm the kind of person. Or Star Wars. It's like Star Wars. It's just as fucking uh, the same. I'm not that kind of minded person to be thinking about silly situations. So. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> silly situations. Jesus Christ. Getting a job is silly. I mean, says, what is a game you <laughs> He will be writing tweets about needing support until the day he dies. Even after he dies, he's gonna have a scheduled tweet to beg him to pay for his funeral. Because fucking cat can't pay for shit. This is what you're gonna get. Uh, you guys, if you're seeing this fucking tweet, that means I'm dead. Uh, you can drop a tip right here to, to pay for my, uh, for my... A coffin you can pick the the coffin we have the fortnite coffin we have the the among us coffin we have the resident evil coffin and the street fighter coffin you can vote on the community poll dude like remade i don't want to see crowdfunded the fucking funeral actually continue like i want to see the new a new infamous that what happened he is afraid of getting a job that's true he is afraid he is terrified of getting a job because it's gonna expose all his his fucking shit he's been running away from years it's gonna expose that he can't talk to people for shit. Nobody likes him. He looks like shit. He ain't good for anything and to do any kind of work. That's what it's gonna expose. And he's not ready to take it. So he's willing to sit there and beg and humiliate himself every day until the rest of his streaming bullshit career. To, to uh, what's his name? Like, I, I forgot the name of the main character at this point. What happened to him? He's still alive? Uh, well, you know. What's, what's going on in that world? We haven't seen anything in so many years. I want a new Infamous game with modernized graphics and gameplay mechanics and a great story, right? I don't really, I'm not a big one for remakes. In fact, out of all the remakes that I've played, the only one that I really absolutely loved was Resident Evil 2, you know? I understand why people remake games because they feel like the older games are just inaccessible to a modern audience. For example, a lot of people, if they were to play the classic Resident Evil right now, they'd be like, I can't play this. Tank controls you know, terrible camera angles, and they just get so frustrated, they slam their controllers and then turn it off. And I understand that. Okay, we're going to remake it for a modern audience, but personally, I'd rather just have, uh, I'd rather just have things continue, like have a continuation of a, of a game that I really like, so. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Take a sip, let's look at chat. And of course, this is his channel fucking video, so I can't even look at the chat post he's looking at. All right, Guts, I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, that's right. The poll is running for tomorrow's mainstream game, which is either going to be Skyrim or The Forgotten City. So remember to vote overnight, everybody. That's right. Carl Weezer says, do you think it would be a good idea to replace pre-stream with Q&A like this? I do that. 
Carl, I, you obviously the, what you're saying now means you don't watch the pre-stream podcast. Um, yeah, pre-stream is garbage, me. man. A, no, it's like you. It's literally there is no difference between Ask the King, between Q and A with viewers, between the pre-stream podcast. It's just it's all the same shit. It's all the same shit. It's just different in name, but it's all him just rambling and answering questions from chat. There's no like actual difference topic to talk about like today i actually it's all just superficial and meant to more more or less serve in a, as an excuse for those things existing and not for its own purpose like the pre-stream podcast is an excuse for him being able to ramble for a long time and basically call it a podcast but it's not a real podcast because it's garbage and yeah it, it still sucks it's the same shit as the pre-stream the same shit a full game release schedule the next several months then that's the case but some nights or some uh mornings i should say i actually open it up to just talking with people and they ask me questions and we do a q a session like this so i've been doing that I, it seems to me like you're not paying attention to my pre-stream <clears throat> excuse me i say ox says whatever i'm to the dead space successor i would love uh, a return to jack and daxter or sly cooper um they're making it the you should have a return to some bitches bro stop asking dumbass fucking question like this but there's no information about when it's going to be released or anything like that yet. I think what's going to happen, I talked about this on the pre-stream podcast today in regards to the schedule coming this year. Really right now, the only games we know about are in uh, February, March, and maybe like five more for the rest of the year. What always happens is around that E3 time, which is like early June, we get a bunch of game announcements. Usually it was E3 week. E3 really isn't a big deal anymore. So what's going to end up happening is you're going to have all these companies doing their own digital press conferences and, and, and uh, announcements. And then you're going to say, oh, yeah, the, the, the pre stream podcast being called a podcast, uh, like you say, Alex in chat, is that he took the criticism from the pre stream being too long and doubled down on it. It's literally what he did. He just renamed it to spite you. So you're not allowed to complain because it's, it's different, you guys. It's called a different thing, but it's actually still the same. All these games announced, okay? But, you know, we're not there yet. We got to wait a few months. We got to get through. Never going to be there. And then we'll start learning about other games, I'm sure. <clears throat> Big Papa pumped in another $2 tip saying, Don't quit making content. It's a dumb idea from Trolls. Who is your first favorite Street Fighter character? What made you change to a different main if you did have a good night? With the, when I first started playing... God, Street his Fighter, face is just so melted. But just so bloated and melted. And he has that weird forehead that looks like a, like an actual caveman. He's, he's devolving into like an actual caveman. With every day, barely. Uh, uh, big up Spooniton for two months of chill. A bit. I realized he was very big up for being a member, dude. And was very hard to dodge fireballs. So I went to Blanca. Blanca was more versatile. He could jump higher. And I liked that he was a beast man. I thought that he was the more the more fantasy style character. And I actually really liked him in Street Fighter. And he was my original main in Street Fighter 2. <clears throat> Go Team Avengers. Do I have a favorite Mega Man game, including Mega Man X? Yes. My favorite original Mega Man game is Mega Man 2. Mega Man Flex. We're skipping this garbage. This is worthless. This is worthless, actually, genuinely. There just aren't enough good games for it. If survival horror game is extremely expensive, see what I'm saying? Okay, he doesn't. We're still in the in the arc. Wow, what a nice pause. <laughs> Speaking of cavemen, um, yeah, we're we're still in the arc where he doesn't have enough money to to pay for his business. He can't even buy games anymore. That's that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. A man that that dares to flex with playstations and xboxes doesn't have money for games for them this is that fucking guy still it's not accessible to the common person and on top of that a lot of people get motion sickness and shit from it i did it was yeah you do because you're retarded man come on you get motion sickness by getting off your chair games that i played come on you're absolutely fucking things out of vr something else some of the original games i played for vr blew my mind i was like wow this is so cool but Paranormal. Initial wave of like awe wears off. It just all you see are the annoyances. Oh, this fucking headset. It's an all right, just like with with marriage, right? Once that honeymoon period wears off, all you see is is your wife failing to put sour cream on her toast. Or ease of use and less expensive. And making you order more DoorDash, and then fucking up something else. Redesigning, redesigning, redesigning. Realistically, do I see it becoming mainstream? Not really. It fucks up everything, man. Cat sucks. Hashtag cat sucks. I just think it's hilarious because 
when PSVR came out. Man, shut the fuck up. Why are you so annoying with this bullshit? A couple arcades around here where they'll have like a VR setup. You go in there and you can play a few VR games, but it's nothing mainstream at all. No one really cares about it. No one cares. Big ups, you got your answer. It would be nice. If, imagine if you go to a bar, you play 20 bucks, you go inside, and you play VR games for like two, three hours. Imagine, uh, I don't know. Okay. Edibles, Do no. You don't beg for tips? Buy. No, I don't. I don't think about fantasy scenarios, <laughs> such as DSP not begging for tips. Be stupid. Right, Always going to be begging for tips. I'll have a drink. I don't need to. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, it, here is, is him hating on weed. Let's see this. Before, because of COVID, but before COVID, that would have been nice. Now it's fuck that. It ain't going to happen. No, Monica Levi, I'm not going to smoke or do edibles. I don't care about weed. You should I do edibles. Weed, first of all, I just ha I hate the feeling of smoking. You might weed. resemble something that might resembles like a good person if you're on edibles. I love. I'm just saying you should try it. Because my, my mom has smoked her whole life. I lived in a house. Yeah, your mom is stupid. Come on. Smoke. I fucking hate it. Okay. Edibles? No, I don't want to get myself high. Yeah, she smoked when she was pregnant with you too, right? She's stupid. That's why you got that appearance going on. That's Skyrim random character looking ass. All right, you know, if I want to get a buzz, I'll have a drink. I don't need to be eating plants. Or two or three. But drinks make you spend money on mobile games, DSP, and weed makes you spend money on weed. Being a Lovecraft says, I think Lego Come Star on. Wars is good. We'll Make the right choice. Uh, today I Not the dumb really choice. Bit, but people are saying they've changed the formula of the Lego Star Wars games. It's no longer a massive collectathon. That this new one will be completely different. Sounds good. I hope it's good. I'm interested in it. What was for dinner? Rigatoni pasta, spicy marinara. Rigatoni and, uh, pasta. Uh, chicken sausage. Chicken Ada, sausage. I love Ada Yu. Ada's a pretty interesting character. I like that she's like a super spy type. Um, I You know what I don't like? She never really had a full story fleshed out, right? Ada never had her own game. She never really had a full backstory. She was always just the mysterious spy there to be a part and interject into the story, but never really had her own uh motives or backstory or even character fleshed out a lot of the times you never know who she what she her motives are so i wish that they had actually yeah if you go to holland for weed don't get the the pre-roll joints from uh, from the coffee shops their ass just get some grams <clears throat> okay all right monica you don't have to but i appreciate that she said basically because i answered two questions tonight she, she tipped me in the morning Mark says, I own PS5 disc edition. I've never experienced VR. Yeah, nobody VR asked. VR no, nobody asked. An MRE nobody and cares about your question, buddy. Around it, so we're actually pretty tasty. No, 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 no. You know he doesn't give a, a rat's ass about the question when he reads it like this. Because he has different ways that he reads questions with different type of inflections. Of course, if it's a troll or something that he wants to make sound like a troll, you get the classic. Oh, Phil, have you ever considered getting a green screen and uh, doing... Uh, playing games with your fans. Yeah, look at this fucking idiot. And then you can have the the nice comments, which are always great. He reads them with the with the gentle voice, with the Bob Ross soy voice. He goes like, "Oh, and we have a uh, Master Saru saying, Phil, I love you. I've been watching you since uh, 1973, and my favorite playthrough was Heavy Rain. Well, thank you, Master Saru." And and now you get the bored one, which is like, oh, Phil, have you thought about? Oh no, no. What an MR That's what you get. Never heard of it. Fan of Lovecraft, so I'm looking forward to Elden Ring. Hope it plays more like Dark Souls. You're not a fan of Lovecraft. You don't even know how his cat is called. It plays nothing like Sekiro at all, except that it does have platforming and parkour. The gameplay is way more like Dark Souls, so that's a great thing. My that's parkour. Yeah, I don't know why I thought of Master Saru, <laughs> but yeah, I miss good arcade. I don't think they. No, you don't fucking miss anything. The first way was when there were no home video games or they weren't mainstream. Oh no, it's a time capsule segment. To be as good as arcades, and the internet hit. There was no attraction for arcades anymore. Now most arcades that continue to be successful, um, end up being barcades, meaning you drink, you get some food. You go in, you play some ticket games, redemption games, you mess around, you redeem, you get yeah, a, that sounds a, a pretty prize chill. on the way out. It's actually not about the quality of the game. It's about just messing around, being buzzed, and having a good time. It's about the quality fun. of the fun. That's definitely a major part of arcade attraction is having a great time. But the days of an arcade being a place, a social gathering, 
for the only place to play video games or the only place what? to play competitive video games, that is long gone. Yeah, DSP, you're a fucking idiot. Why do we even have to say this? It's like a, a common sense thing. Yeah, arcades are gone because everybody plays from home on their custom style machines. You know what I mean? Big Papa Pump, you have a good I'm going to play on some greasy ass disgusting machine some kids play with. By the way, guys, thanks for Come on. That's my goal. And Barcades are fun because you can go and get fucked up and do shit. So thank you for that. Over 100 likes on tonight's stream. I used to play laser tag. It's it's cool as fuck. Haseo X says it would be interesting if the next Resident Evil game has Chris, but perhaps we'll have the return it's, of Leon. It'll be interesting if the next Resident Evil game has Phil, I would say. Here's how the gig economy works. The you gig no economy. Training, no real proof that you even know how to do a job. Hold on. This is in real life? Really? Let's see this. I guess he was more of a celebrity. Who? I don't know. No what is happening? Just being just a side character and really have we're talking about Chris? A lot of people have said that they have. Cause then we're talking about real life. Hold on. I guess he was more of a celebrity. Hey, what's up, Storm Martin? Did other thing. Good a evening. Eternal says, is the gig economy an excuse to take advantage of employees? The gig, the gig economy. economy. You, he did, what the fuck, man? This guy's going to explain to you the gig economy. He has no idea about anything. He hasn't worked a job in over 10 years. Can't explain to you anything. Anything. Both ways. Here's how the gig economy works. How does it work? Here's how it works. You don't have to explain to us how it works. Just give you us your fucking opinion. No training. No real proof that you even know how to okay. do a job. You just get work. Oh, yeah. The gig really? economy is based off of... Is he talking about freelancing? Because I'm, I'm about to really get pissed about this. Actually working directly... Because I'm a freelancer and I know exactly how it works. And having no no proof that you know anything is a literally not a part of it at all for an employer you're an independent contractor so that employer has no responsibility to give you health care or any other protections whatsoever they just give you a job you do it you make some money but here's the advantages and disadvantages the advantages are like i just said you don't need to have any training or nothing you have a shot just like everyone else to do a job in the gig economy you don't need to even know how to drive well you don't need to know anything about picking up food. You don't need nothing. Just you got a job. You're you're. Oh no! Here we're going into fucking DoorDash. Wow, great. All right. Okay. Drive, pick up food, drive it, deliver it. Done. You get it there quickly and hot. Good rating. You're gonna get more yeah, work. Yeah. It sounds it good. Cold. Fuck you. Bad rating. You kicked out of the system. You'll never get work again. Sounds like a good idea, except. Yeah, I don't think it's as as extreme as he makes it sound, but I don't know. The problem is with jobs like that is that it's completely er 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 erratic. You don't know how much you're going to get paid consistently. Oh, like streaming? Like streaming? Okay. Sometimes you get screwed over. What if you didn't do anything wrong? Oh, this he's literally talking about himself. He's literally talking about himself. It's inconsistent when it comes to pay, because somebody can p tip you a lot, somebody can tip a little. And then you can get screwed over and you did nothing wrong. What? Yeah, the food still is, shows up late, shows up cold. Uh, you know, you didn't make the food, but you're delivering it. You're the one who gets in trouble for it, right? Um, on the flip side of that, what I've seen is, quite frankly, around here, and this is me being honest, whenever you order food, you have no idea who's going to deliver it. You get yeah. someone who's professional. Who, who do you want it to deliver it? Hey, big ups, down forward punt for the membership. Who cares about the job, who gets right there, gets your food, gets it to you as soon as possible, actually follows the instructions... And gets it to you right away. And the reason I say that, I live in a private gated community. You can only enter from one street. There's other streets. You can to fuck yourself in your private community. Nine times out of ten, when I order food, no one pays attention to the instructions I give. They ignore them. I've had people call me on the phone and I say, "Did you read the instructions?" And I'm not kidding you. They said, "I can't read English." Yeah, bro. Someone who's working off of an app to deliver food who can't read English. Okay. So. You, do you think they don't deserve a job? That's the gig economy. You don't need All any right. education, no qualifications. Right. You just get work. And you could be really good at your job or suck ass. Yeah, just like you and streaming. And you got to hope that the system of ratings... Bro, I don't know how any of this works. And I'm sure he has no idea how any of this works. I might as well just ask fucking Wings. Because he will know what he's talking about. DSP has no fucking idea what he's talking about. Actually clear Some guy didn't know how to read English. I, I don't trust him for a second, man, even with this situation. Because I can't, like, go against what he says and say, well, the guy knew English. Because I don't fucking know. But it's still the way he frames it. It's, it's just so ridiculous. And, and being an asshole. It's a guy bringing you food, man. It's not that important. He's going to get you your fucking food. 
filters out the people who are terrible at it. Holy the shit. Because he expects, he expects the world from everyone else who exists. He expects everything. He expects them to be exactly on time with five star quality every single time. But him, you criticize him about one fucking thing. DSP, your camera looks like shit. DSP, your microphone picks up unnecessary noise. DSP, you still don't have a green screen. DSP, your background looks like trash. DSP, you talk too long during your pre-stream. DSP, you ask for money way too often. DSP, you pause the game too much when, when you talk. DSP, you repeat yourself constantly when you're talking uh, during your pre-stream. And you tell him this, he will never forgive you. He will tell you to fuck off, make your own stream, fucking go and chill yourself, all kinds of stuff. He will tell you everything. Stay behind. But that's not how it works. Sadly, I hate to say it. Whenever I order, it's a crapshoot who you're going to get delivering your food. Yeah. Same thing with Uber and stuff like that. It's not just delivering of food. It's actually like Uber driving and taxi drivers and stuff like that too, you know. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's true. Also, I also communicate with a lot of people who occasionally don't speak English, and we manage to understand each other. Uh, okay, ninety percent of the time. Jones so Jason, yeah. Why would they need to read English to deliver food? They need to read street names. They need to be able to read instructions. If you can't read a simple instruction that says, "I live in a private community. You must enter from the front gate from this street," and by the way, here's the code to enter. If you can't read that, you shouldn't have a delivery job for food. <laughs> well, you need you need to have basic reading skills to even be able to drive in, in, in the United States, or you should. Because, bro, it's like I've had the same issues before with somebody that I left a description and notes in the app and he couldn't find my, my apartment or something, something. And there was a mild confusion because he couldn't read it or something. It was some, some Turkish guy, I think. But then he came and I took my food and that was it, man. I never felt like I wanted to rant so much or be so out of my way toxic about some random fucking guy that works a shitty job just to get by. Just like many, many millions of other people. Holy shit. And this guy sitting in his fucking gated community. Oh my god, this fucking asshole. He couldn't read English. Who gave him a job? You shouldn't have a fucking job. DSP, you take advantage of people who can't read English every day. Fucking ask everybody for money. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's right, and that's... See, my rune says they just plug in the address and go whatever go whatever the, the GPS routing says. And that's wrong. You, should, you can't do that. That's what I'm saying. You can't. That's not the job. The job is supposed to be able to actually deliver the food, not follow a GPS. It's not GPS follower. It's... DoorDash food delivery. Yeah, and this job is not a, a live stream beggar. Is a fucking what was it? Let me actually give from uh, from the horse's mouth, from cat's mouth. Uh, the company's name is Burnell Productions. It is internet content creation. Uh huh. Demand and also live. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's internet content creation. It's not online begging people for money, right? You need to deliver the food. Not follow a GPS. If you can't deliver the food because you can't read, you can't do the job, you shouldn't be taking work. It's that simple. <clears throat> uh, Go Team Venture, tip $5, says you make some very good points about arcades. Mega Man 3 and Mega Man X are my favorite Mega Man games. Awesome. Mega Man 3 is also... Okay, cool. yeah, nobody cares. Literally nobody. Thank you for the tips, guys. Thank you for the tips. Come on, you have a long way to go. 30 out of 50. Come on, you have a fucking family to support, right? With the life you love. I love my life. This is what you love. Raging on random, anonymous people bringing you food and working shitty jobs just so you can have more convenience in your life. And you shit on them for not speaking your fucking language. You lame sack of shit. Uh, big up Spooniton for the super chat. I've never seen a beggar as as smug as him he talks like he's so above those minimum wage workers when he begs for a living a digital panhandler man he's like infinite amounts worse than those people because you know that that guy that didn't fucking speak english at least he's trying and he's probably having a tough fucking time not being able to speak english or read english and having to work this job and live in in the united states and then you get somebody like this this scumbag sack of shit that's had everything giving to him in his gout-ridden fucking nasty hands. 
because he just asks for it, asks for it. And people give him shit out of kindness and he takes advantage of them every single fucking day, asking for more and more and more in different stuff, not just for tips. He's begging for fucking likes. He's begging for subs. He's begging for fucking members, begging for everything. Fucking pathetic. Uh, big ups Natal KOG for the super chat. As as an Amazon driver, I hate it when you can't find the house at all. You call them up for help and they give you an attitude. You want your shit, right? Yeah, it is. It is like that. When I get a, a like a package or something, I make sure to to be clear where I want it or to help the guy. Cause it's like those people bringing you stuff and and doing all these jobs for your convenience. They're just a part of society and they're people trying to do their own job. Just fucking let's make everything easy for each other and just try and do better and, and take care of each other in some way. You don't have to be an asshole all the time. Um, big up for Robert Mori for the membership. Welcome to the Mature Adults, dude. Oh, we do have other entrances, but they're for emergencies only. That's the thing. Private community. Okay. You're not going to have 10 entrances to a private community. That would be pretty dumb, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty pointless. Fucking SWAT team can come easier. The The trolls can find you. You fucking sack of shit. For Returnal, oh uh, man, out of those two games, he was terrible at both. I think both the gameplay for both was a literal ass, just a literal ass, not a donkey, an actual ass. Terrible, terrible. Death Booth was more entertaining for me. I didn't love it. Yeah, you were camping yeah, all the time. It was a more entertaining game. I actually enjoyed trying trying to figure out the ways to kill the targets. Was interesting to reach. I can't figure out the ways to get a job. On demand, do instantly downloadable, playable, and I want them to run well. I don't. What it? What does he want again? He just wants things. He just wants, just wants, and he has the audacity to call himself a blue collar worker, a hard worker, and busting his fucking ass. Boring fucking grind because the game design is just not fun. So, Dana Low Crash says you have expectations from Project Spartacus, Sony's take on Game Pass. Yeah, here's what I want. Uh, apparently, yeah, there's some new news about it and how it's going to be called, according to some leaks. It's going to have three tiers, of course, because everything has three tiers nowadays. All so, yeah. classic PS1 games. On Probably going to get them. Instantly downloadable, playable, and... I Might even be them. just streamable. I don't know about downloadable. Probably just streamable, like, uh, like PlayStation Now. You'll be able to stream them. I don't want it to be, oh, it's emulated like it is on fucking PlayStation Network. And it runs like shit. You have to wait 40 hours for it to load. And what? you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to actually do it, do it right. Take a look at Game Pass. Most of the games on there, they actually worked hard to make those run well on the modern consoles. They didn't just say port it and fuck it. They actually said, let's make these run more smoothly. Let's make them look better. That's what I want. I don't want... Oh, yeah, Is this buffering? Because I can see there's uh, zero dropped frames, so it should be okay. Or whatever they're going to call it. And it's the same exact version that you've already played on PlayStation Network that loads like shit, runs like shit, looks like shit. I would like them to actually put some work in, but I don't know what Sony's going to do. Sony's playing catch-up this console gen for sure, so I don't know what they're going to do. Bro, it's literally like, it's literally just fucking began. Shut up. We had two years that are basically like one year because of all the delays and all the COVID nonsense. Give me a fucking break. Give it a couple of years and then talk. This guy just jumps to conclusions. Man, Xbox fucking won. Xbox won this gen. Fantastic. There's like six more years at least to go. Come on. They're still making PlayStation 4s. And they're still making games for them. The, the console gen hasn't even actually started yet. It's going to start when they stop making shit for the PS4. Randy, absolutely. He says, do you think that I would get more harassment in real life if I didn't live in... Yes. Canada? First of all... Again, I'm going to just say yes. this up front. I don't tell you guys everything about my real life because if I did, sadly, you know, number one, it would be used against me to hurt myself and my family. But also, as I've told you guys, the less you know, the better it is. What you need to know about is the stuff that's on my stream. Right? Uh, no, I used the normal OBS, not Streamlabs. I, I moved from Streamlabs because it was causing me some problems. And I had to re-log every time I was starting a stream, which is ridiculous. So now, now I use OBS and Stream Elements. Right. You don't need to know about shit that happens. But if I didn't live in a gated community, I could tell you a million percent, yes, I would get harassed. Of course. Worse. I would be more of a victim if my life was worse. From living in because that serves my narrative. Because I want my life to be not worse. 
Instead, I want it to be better. Sounds good? Etiquette when I wasn't in a gated community, it was worse. We should shoot you in a space. You're not gonna get trolled at all. In space. You can go with uh, Jeff Bezos and he's gonna leave you there and come back. Sounds good. Um, and there are things that have happened. So, yeah, I'm actually very, very happy that I took the Very happy. Kind of he loves this fucking life. He loves the life. Having to beg and go overtime doing Q&As. I love my life. It definitely has benefited me over the years. GX Shooter, the Super Chat says, Tomorrow the Forgotten City. Tomorrow is based on your voting. Whatever the, the results of that poll is on the main page of DSP Gaming will determine what I play tomorrow. I don't know what the results are right now. I can tell you that before I started the stream. Uh, wow, the... the Keyboard stopped working. I can tell you that before I started this stream, uh, it was actually Skyrim in the lead by about seven. Fucking minutes. Paul talk. Get the tomorrow. fuck out of here. Um, he fucking infuriates me so much with this garbage discussions. People talking about garbage. Literally useless. Worthless talk. Worthless talk. This poll has this much percent with this many votes. Do you have eyes? We don't even have a single piece of information about it, so there's not even What is a single piece? Some new game, Starfield. Crimson Tide. I have no idea if Street Fighter Six will be good or bad. Street Fighter fucking Six. You you see what kind of questions his chat asks him? What kind of fucking stupid questions? What do you think about Street Fighter Six? Well, I don't know what I think about it. it doesn't fucking exist. Still streaming. Thank you, Big Tell. Uh, yeah. I and I'm happy to be still streaming. I'll be at a different place. Uh, but I'm very happy doing what I do. Uh, and I'm happy really that the work that I'm putting in. You beg for everything, man. Growth. 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 Mr. Fucking Burnell. Let me switch this layout and show you some fucking growth. This is what we're looking at. This is the fucking growth we're looking at. 400 views. 200 views on episode 34 of Skyrim. 400 views for 16 fucking hours. And I know I do this every stream, but I want to hammer it in your head. There is no growth here. Growth is fucking dead. Yeah, on the pre-stream, he manages to get almost 2,000. But God, this is like a... This is DSP, man. You've been doing this for 14 fucking years. And this is what you have. A channel of 60,000 worthless fucking videos that are growing every day. And there's just nothing. Nothing. It's, it's just nothing. Look at this. They're off... They're not in, in the proper order because it's garbage. Of course, here in the playlist, they are because uh, they kind of fucking have to be. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Let's see. Are they in the right order? 21, 22, 23, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, here they are correct. But here, man, look at this. This is just like fucking depression. Depression. Let's go back to the Q&A. Terribly working. I've seen... In the last month since I started to get engagement up, engagement is going way up. That's just going to help. I, I really feel February will be a great month because February we got so many new releases in a short period of time. There will be people looking for those new releases on YouTube. Oh, Skyrim, I don't think is going to get to 100. No, unless there is a secret uh, pay pig that bankrolls the entire thing. Yeah, unless that happens, that shit is not getting to 100, man. Everybody's going to get bored. Because as far as I know, he's playing vanilla Skyrim. Big ups, uh, Angel for the sub. Uh, he's playing vanilla Skyrim, which means he can't even use those uh, fun uh, Thomas the Tank Engine mods or something like that. It makes the game funny. Just needs to play raw Skyrim. That has been out for like over 10 years now. Bring new eyeballs. Playing raw fucking Skyrim. You guys have been engaging with the likes and comments on videos. I think that things are gonna, uh, are gonna be... No, not really. Good growth. Not really. Not really. But this is all uh, smoke and mirrors until the gifted memberships come. And, and then you're going to see the actual growth. The actual growth in a massive quotation marks. Massive quotation marks. Of course, that month at the very least. So thank you, Big Tone. It's actually good to see you. Uh, haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Uh, let me get you. I forgot that you're the top tipper here. Hold on. Let me get you up here. Thank you. Okay. Swaggins wants Chestnut behind me. Chestnut was behind me the entire month of December. Where were you talking about? I think Swaggins, were you paying attention in December? He was right here. <laughs> he was literally right here in a pile of acorns, not acorns, uh, pine cones and snow. Where were you? 
Where the fuck were you? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, the Gifted Membership Saga is gonna be absolutely, absolutely groundbreaking. So please set your expectations that he's gonna get a massive rise in subs. Uh, then, of course, they're gonna start falling. Some people are gonna stick around, some people are gonna leave. But yeah, just just make sure you expect to, to get um, a big sub bomb. So we're not surprised or salty or something when you see massive growth. Because I was checking release dates last night. We talked about it on what, the, the Evil Dead. Within. I did not see a set release date for Evil Dead. If it has one. Evil Dead, see. bro, go away. This is like a. You see, this is a gaming setup now. I don't. I don't know. Have crazy stuff like that unless it's a holiday. So. What? <laughs> Swang says chestnuts not a festive item. He should be out the entire year. As you can see. Bro, take a fucking shotgun to is your. It? My room looks like the Evil Dead game will be a Dead by Daylight. Game. Yeah, no, I didn't see that. Bro, get out of here. That was get out of here. Hades came out on PC. Get him out of here. Then, like a year and a half later, it came out on Switch. Then, like a year later, finally came out on other consoles. All right, skip. Let's see the next question. This is a garbage Q&A. Because, of course, the questions also have to be decent if you want a decent response. And the questions are garbage. Wheelchair questions. Itchy nose. Been snorting too much coke. I mean, just snorting too much. Simply March snorting too much. PS5 uh, will be a, uh, well, February will be a good month for the PS5. Because I'm playing 1990s Capcom games, 1990s Neo Geo games on my PS5. No Game Pass, no PS Now. It kills the console. I hear you. Uh, you know, for, here's the thing in February. All right? What is the thing? Good. Horizon. Sifu, okay, I like that. I like that too. A lot of people be playing it on PS5. I don't care about that at all. Um, you already have an installed player base to be playing. Installed PS5. player base. PS5 as opposed to Xbox, where people are just okay up, buying the Xbox Series X and S. Of course, mostly S because you can't really get. Bro, I'm so confused. Um, I think it'll be a pretty good month for PS5 overall. Finally getting a giant <laughs> exclusive. Like Horizon Forbidden West. Yeah, it's cool, but it's 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 um you know if you didn't like the first game, you're probably not gonna like this one. So yeah, it's a sequel, even though it is a, a big title. I'm gonna be interested in seeing what's gonna happen with that one. <clears throat> no. I might pick it up for the PlayStation Four, then upgrade to five once I get the five. Does not come in and watch watch me stream in person. Sometimes she'll watch over the internet. Like she'll really. Like this morning, I know for a fact you watched a little bit of the Skyrim stream. Oh, of course, to tell you that you suck. Hey, Phil, I think you should. I don't know. My 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 cat voice is suck. Sucks. Do I know I'm the only streamer? Uh, that's pretty cringe. That I don't believe. I believe that once you reach a certain size. Oh, now we get into the streamer discussion. Okay, this is juicy. Of a stream as a streamer, okay, it basically becomes impossible to have the kind of personal interaction that I have with you guys. And you're absolutely wrong. Right now, where it's easy to do this, I feel if I grew a little bit more. It'd be a little bit tougher, but I could still do it. But you gotta understand that some of these guys out there who have a ridiculous amount of viewers, there is absolutely positively no way they can have personal interaction. But yeah. that's not why people watch them. People watch them because they're popular. Uh no. No. There is no person that exists that people watch them because it's popular. People are popular for a reason. They remain popular for a reason. Because we live in the age where if you don't come up with a good YouTube video every week, you're gonna become irrelevant. And I can think of so many people that have become irrelevant. I'm gonna say off the top of my head, Rise Gum, uh, Leafy, or oh, fucking, I don't know, like Pyro Cynical, shit like that, that I don't think they're that much relevant as, as they used to be. And those commentary community channels, even though there's with each of them, there's different drama going on. But I'm just saying, those big people, they need to stay relevant. There's no like, this fucking dipshit perception of somebody becoming popular and then just like gaining a certain threshold of popularity that allows them to be popular forever i mean yeah there is fucking madonna and beyonce that are that and they don't need to come up with anything anymore but that's we're talking about literally like one percent of the people that do it one percent and and he's talking about those people that can't read chad and can't uh, fucking be interactive because their chat is way too fast. Just like uh, H3 Productions podcast, for example, the H3 podcast. They simply can't read chat because chat is like 100 messages per second. So they just read super chats and tips and stuff like that. And that's just how it works. And that's why super chats exist. 
So if you're a popular guy, you can just attach like a, a dollar or two to your message and the popular guy is going to fucking read it. But that's just kind of how it is. But the rest 99% of people that are streaming are completely capable of reading chat or reading every once in a while something that it says. I'm not saying that you got to be a text to speech from chat. You got to read everything. You got to be fucking on every everything. But uh, obviously it, it helps if you see a message that you think you can play off of and you can just add something to that. You can read it and fucking obviously. But yeah, those those people that are popular for the sake of popular, that they don't exist. That's not a thing. And I, I know now he's gonna talk about uh, he's gonna talk about PewDiePie and why PewDiePie is popular. We're gonna get into that. Now, uh, Dayglow was asking me in chat, how was The Witcher going? I finished everything. I finished basically Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, and now I'm just playing the the rest of what's left. And I know this for a fact. Like the side the stuff. Day, this is how it was on YouTube. You'd watch them and be like. Why are they popular? Well, take a look at someone like PewDiePie. He started okay. off being popular because he was a guy. He started off being popular. No, he started off being nobody. Like everybody starts. They start off being nobody. Literally nobody. The name PewDiePie is just a random fucking syllables. It's nothing. Nowadays, it means something. But he acted scared all the time when he played a horror game. So he was one of they call a screamer streamer. A screamer streamer. Act silly. Yeah, that is true. And that got him very popular. I'm not hating on that, by the way. That was his shtick. It worked. Yeah, that got him popular. Him, right? But then over time, all right. Okay. He changed to be different. And then he ended up getting such a ginormous following. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. This is, uh, it's a misrepresentation, a misinterpretation of what happened. Now, he was talking to you like PewDiePie was making, was being a screamer streamer and then blew up. No, PewDiePie had gaming montages from 10 years ago, let's say, I don't even know, a little bit less maybe, with uh, playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent and stuff like that, that were big. And then people stuck around and he decided to do other stuff, to do reaction videos, to do like streams and stuff. And then is when he grew, when he was making all these different stuff, when he was branching out, he didn't just explode in popularity. There's like that thing doesn't simply happen. It's a buildup. It can be very fast and it can be extremely slow, but it's a buildup every single time. There's no just one day you wake up and you blew up. Unless it's one of those viral, like, uh, watch me whip, watch me nay nay kind of videos. Good for him. Where it's like you're literally a one hit wonder. But we're talking about people that are in the industry and sticking around in the industry and pillars of the industry. That's what we're talking about. Not fucking baby shark. Right? But then over time, all right, he changed to be different. And then he ended up getting such a... Then he ended. Following. Okay. Then he blew up. No. He was a big thing when he was making those screaming videos. Or being known as being a popular gamer. Being that known. Even remembers that he originally was a screamer streamer. No, everybody remembers. What do you mean no one? You don't know anything about him. You don't know anything about his community. You don't know anything about his background. And I don't know shit. And I still know he's wrong. And I was still calling him out this entire time. Because I remember. I was in high school and my friends were watching PewDiePie. And I can remember what kind of shit he made. And why he was popular and what made people interested in him. It was his personality and his reactions to the fucking games. And it was funny and it was goofy and that was it. It was over-exaggerated or whatever. You, you get it. You know what kind of shit he used to do. Right? But this is just like misinterpreting it. No one even remembers that. Anymore. No one remembers that. Good thing. I feel like, you know, no, no, they do. It's just like a shit that used to happen. And you do the exactly the same garbage you've been doing since day one. That's why everybody remembers what you used to do because it's the exactly same garbage. Probably didn't want to do that forever anyway. So, so I'm happy for him that. Exactly. He didn't want to do it forever. He didn't even want to be the number one on YouTube. I, as, as far as I can remember from hearing from somewhere and maybe looking at one of his videos when he was racing with T series and he was like, especially when somebody committed a school shooting and then said subscribe to PewDiePie in, in like some kind of confessional video. That was that was silly. And then it's one one of those times where you realize how massive PewDiePie actually was and that the things he said has meaning and whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? You know, it's one of those big guys where they're even they can think to themselves, you know, I think 
I, I think I'm, I'm a little bit too big. I, I don't want this much scrutiny on me. I don't want people to be nitpicking everything that I say and, and people to be holding everything against me and to have such a massive platform because I'm just a fucking gamer. I just want to play games. And that's why I think he simplified it nowadays into doing more of like reaction videos and just chilling for a little bit and then having his editor make a video because it's just not not something that he wants to do for forever, you know. He did the the smart thing. The smart thing. He still makes videos for his fans, people that like him, people that admire him, people that are used to watching his videos every day. But he does it in a way that he thinks is chill and he hires people to take care of it. So it's fucking great. Other stuff and maybe being more like himself and not having to be a character constantly. But now he's so popular, do you really think when he streams that he can talk with people in his chat? Unless someone's doing like a giant contribution and it sticks out. You know what I mean? Like, and people watch literally because he's popular. Right? No. If you actually say, no. all right. What about, um, do people only listen to Beyonce because she's popular? I don't know. This is probably a shitty fucking comparison, but it's like, you need to be enjoying what you're watching, DSP. You're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking moron. To, to even have this idea of this narrative that people are watching someone because it's popular. And they're not watching you because everybody fucking hates your guts. This is the, the fucking idiocy of, of Dark Sightfield. The, the sheer brain damage he got to think this. What? Uh, what is it that people tune into this big streamer for? What is uh, personality, positive personality, positive influence on your day, making you feel nice and energized and I don't know, entertained and having fun. People don't need like super sophisticated stuff, man. You can have fun listening to shit like this, you know, to PewDiePie or critical or, uh, XQC or everybody else. It's not, it's, it's a fucking shit post, man. It's the internet. And you need to be, like, for, for how grown he is, he still doesn't understand it. But that's because he's a boomer. He doesn't understand anything. And I can tell you, as a younger guy, and I'm on fucking TikTok, and I'm on YouTube, and I'm on Twitter, and all this bullshit, it's just kind of for, for fun. Why would they be watching it for fun? It's as simple as this. As simple as this. It's just for fun, man. Is the attraction. It's not because he's famous. It's not because he, he makes profound content that I need to inject in my veins. It's because he's fun. There are big, big streamers who basically... And he doesn't expect me to watch six hours of his stupid ass fucking face rambling every single day. He expects me to watch a five minute video or a ten minute video so I can see what shit he's reacting to today and he's gonna try and make me laugh and hopefully I'm gonna laugh and we're both gonna get something out of it and you know I might fucking like his video and I might sub to his channel and I might even say his video was really funny in the comments they're but that's what happens when I like something popular because they're streaming one kind of content oh I'm a pro at this game or whatever okay great that makes sense but take a look at a lot of yeah he does believe that everything has to have a purpose and be super serious I don't know why popular. Everything has to be serious. Nothing can be goofy and ridiculous and just simply for fun. Why are you there watching them exactly? What's what's the attraction? What's the right? attraction? You would never know. You don't watch them. You don't watch them. You would never know. Well, they just they watch just because it's popular. Some people, yeah. Some, Some people, like, yeah, sure. Some people do everything DSP. Some people wear diapers and like DSP. On YouTube, Fred. Some people. A guy who was an adult who edited his voice to yes. a child and screamed. Well, DSP, you should know better than this because now you put yourself in a really shitty logical situation where you were there back in the day, right? When when Fred was making those videos. And I remember Fred because I used to watch Fred and it was dumb as fuck, but I realized it was dumb as fuck because original YouTube was about a person with a personality just shit posting whatever they want. And they could do whatever they want and they could make a video about whatever they want and they could make a character or be themselves or express their personality in literally any way. Nowadays, with the monetization and everything in place, everybody is much more uh, sanitized, I guess, so so your personality can't shine as bright as it used to, but you still have those moments, those elements. But Fred was exactly that kind of guy. He was just a guy called Lucas who just wanted to do some fucking videos, and he did, and that's it. And he blew up, and he was the first guy to ever make a million subs, and... Yeah, good for him. He managed to make a movie after that. He managed to make a Nickelodeon show. 
in in so many other things and uh, i agree with you steve it's that's why youtube's uh, slogan used to be uh, broadcast yourself because that's what it used to stand for you just broadcast your personality and that's it Pretty and uh big ups jay ruiz for becoming a member man big ups the funny thing ever yet he caught on like wildfire and became the biggest yeah. guy on youtube why not yes why not rain william johnson another guy who was huge back in the day uh, he was literally just reacting to videos. He was watching other people's videos. And he got quite a lot of flack for that because he was watching other people's videos. It was basically a reaction video. And nowadays, it's perfectly okay. Nowadays, that criticism that he faced back in the day wouldn't be valid because now he can watch anything. You know what I mean? I'm literally doing that all the time. Fred was the biggest thing on YouTube for a while. But okay. Because popularity breeds more popularity. Oh my God. It's no. Trending. Oh my God, it's at the top of views. People check it out. Doesn't even mean it's good. Just means it's popular, you know? So No, no DSP. It baffles me. It baffles me that you still have no idea how any of this works. Baffles me. Honestly, I would probably be sad. And I probably would feel like I lost a lot of the meaning behind what I do. Because the reason that I love this right oh, now... Oh yeah, DSP. I'm not joking with this and uh, I agree with the right rake. DSP, if he realized Project 7 to its full potential, could have been actually pretty big. Like, actually pretty big. Could have got like half a million subs, quite a few active ones. He could have been probably motivated to make more stuff, and, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, also you're correct, just as Cam Ray used to make people big as well. He used to. He used to give a platform to other people to host his show when he wasn't there. Other comedians like uh, Gabriel Iglesias and some other guy. I forgot his name. He was interviewing porn stars. Kasim G. Yeah. Oh, my God. We got into a spiral of memories, dude. We went way back in time. Uh, there was also Shane Dawson who recently got canceled and uncanceled then turned into like a ghost fucking adventurer or some bullshit. He was making some some racist skits back in the day, putting blackface on himself, saying the N-word a bunch, making weird pedophile jokes. Now? Yeah. It's because... Nostalgia Critic was insane. Uh, I like doing what we're doing it right now. was beasting. Now. Talking, having social interaction, while we share our love for video games. That's what I really enjoy. The social most. fucking interaction. Social interaction. The, the fucking Street Fighter portion of this stream. No, this was from the pre-stream. The Street Fighter portion. You guys, shut the fuck up. Everybody who doesn't like this segment, shut the fuck up. Go away. Come back when I'm done talking about it. Is this your fucking... Is this your discussion? Is this your communication? Is this your community? Give me a fucking break, DSV. Conversation, right? Conversation. To have this conversation with you guys, I would actually probably start to hate my job again. Because that's what it was back in the day. I was just making videos, no conversation or interaction. Just making videos of gameplay, making stupid commentary over it. That was silly jokes, sexualized content, you know, stupid shit. And has he ever had any creativity? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I, I would like to give him credit because I don't want to seem like a guy that I'm just sitting here and literally everything that he says, I disagree with him and I hate him for literally everything. But when I start and try and look objectively, if he's had any creativity and like originality and flair, maybe a couple of things come to mind, but they're all bad ideas. Like the friend request ridicule is a terrible idea. The, I, I don't know what else. Like the, the Project 7 was a ripoff. Most of the stuff he did was like a ripoff of uh, AVGN and stuff. So yeah, uh, big up Spooniton for the super chat. What is with tonight's pause faces? He looks like a throwaway 2K My Player. He looks like those uh, 2K My Players when you try and use the face can and it it completely ruins your face. Yeah, but the pause is just you know what it is, man. It's it's just random. I got tired of it. I got bored of it. I didn't want. To uh, it. I felt so burnt out and played out, and I didn't want you know. I changed for the better, becoming an interactive streamer. I like that interaction we have. If we didn't have that interaction. I would probably hate my dad. Rambo also, that's, yeah, that's a good point. Rambo carried DSP a lot because when you have two guys doing something, again, we, we go back with the reference to early YouTube, such as Smosh, you have two guys doing something. First of all, you have twice the creativity because you have two brains working on something. Second of all, you have stuff to, to bounce off of each other. You know, you can think of all the fucking good 
duos on YouTube. You can think of Cody Ko and Noel Miller. You can think of the the super best friends or whatever those guys were that played. You can think of Angry Joe and Other Joe. You can think of the guys from The Escapist, like Yahtzee and, and Jack Packard. All the guys that are two guys make a good discussion. They make a good, like, riffing off of each other. They make jokes together. It just works better. And then when DSP is by himself, he gets exposed how unfunny he is, how uncreative he is, how much he lacks any type of vision, any type of ideas. It's completely destroyed. I really do not believe that there's no one out there. Wait, like somebody at me and chat. Let me scroll up and, like and read what it says. People like me because you're so used to maybe watching other popular streamers. Oh, yeah. Um, this is something that I wanted to go back on. Uh, thanks, Steve, for bringing it up. The the creativity, he's been kind of uh, demotivated to think creatively. And and this is something that's happening on YouTube with a lot of people that I, I, I would say is that you start looking at the analytics and the numbers and the dollar signs and you start stop thinking of what you would like to make, what you would like to see, and you start thinking about what the numbers would like to see, what the algorithm would like to see. What kind of a thumbnail is going to get me higher numbers? What kind of editing is going to get me higher numbers? What kind of topic is going to get me this? And of course, he takes everything like this at completely face value and just goes with it. And then as a result, we have just a spam of videos that are all generic, that are all just the same shit. You know. Like so, that. yeah. There's tons of very talented, very real people out there who do gameplay streaming. And it's not about the money. And it's not about, you know, becoming some kind of a fucking celebrity. Yeah. And all of them can, can read chat. Literally all of them can read chat. Because people that have, let's say, 500 viewers, which I would say is is a pretty great number of viewers, uh, their chat isn't, isn't even as fast. So you can, like, if you're playing a game, you can glance and look at it. Or if you're talking to chat doing something else, you can look at it all the time. It's like their chats are not... They're not that fast, so you can't interact with it. It really isn't. But if you're watching somebody like H3 Podcast and then the chat is just like rocketing and all you can read is Super Chats or you watch Medicare in his once a year streams or maybe you can watch Tevin's stream or, or something from like the classic back in the day streams. Like when DSP got married and came back, that was a massive stream. And then the chat is really fast. But most of the time, it's actually pretty doable. Come on. About, they just love what they do. They love games. They love talking with people, having a good time. Yeah, That's totally. About. Those are the real people. Those are the people who should be promoted. Those are the people who should get the opportunities, and they're not. They're not. It, that's not what these companies. Has do. a big scratch on his head, huh? That's all. Just looks like skid marks. Fake people. The people who are just gonna promote a product. The shill, fake shill, people. Shill, shill, shill. To basically push out. Take the paycheck. Like I've told you guys, one thing that I absolutely hate right now. You'll be on Twitter, and you see one of these people who's a popular... <laughs> yeah, that's true, Scott Hogan. I just noticed that he put himself in this category, that he's the little guy. The little guy that is a super talented streamer and loves doing what he does, and he should be promoted more. Along with those other guys that are also talented, you know. You know what I mean. Streamer content creator. Holy Check God. Next to their name. Oh. Oh. Here's a, a fucking promotional tweet. So ad, what? Ad, ad, ad. So what? You know it's an ad. You can just skip it. You can mute it, you can block them, you can click on the options and say don't recommend to me again. You can say all of this stuff. Why are you getting outrageously salty about it? Because they got the fucking money. And this guy doesn't get the chance. Because he's too problematic and everybody hates his fucking guts. Which is not his problem and not the... He didn't cause it. What the fuck? Absolutely, so what the care. fuck? You don't care about what you put out there, you're just doing it for money. Right? Um, no, it literally says they care, and they care enough to say that it's a fucking sponsorship. And they also have to because that's the rules, but yeah, you know what I mean? Fucked up. Fucked Come on. Up. I don't like fucking ads as, as much as the next guy that doesn't like ads, and obviously I have two ad blockers on my, on my page, and I don't run ads on any of my shit because I don't like them. Obviously, but this guy bitching about it, the, the same guy that told you go click on the ads, he's the embodiment of a shill. He shills stuff without even getting paid for it. He shills shit for free. All of his loot box shilling, shilling a bean bag, all this garbage that he shilled for free. Give me a break, DSP. You're gonna be talking about fucking ads. You're gonna be talking about ads. 
Anyway, I went on a tangent. Going to be talking about ads. The person advertising himself every day. His core existence is advertising himself. Let's go to Mr. Fucking Pure. Mr. Darks Fadil on Twitter. They call me fucking uh, a lazy sack of shit. DSP the fucking unstoppable. Let's see him here. Let's see him. What is what is not an ad? What is not an ad? His bio. That's an ad. It has his link to it. Uh, his website has a link to it. Has uh, has seventy one thousand tweets. Okay. Let's see the first ten tweets. How many of them are gonna be promotion for himself? Okay. The first ten tweets. The first one is is pinned which is his schedule, that's a promotional tweet, okay? Uh, it says, please be sure to vote, whatever, on DSB Gaming, all right? Second one, audio schedule, promoting himself. Next one, fucking, oh, that's the, the, the same one that's pinned, okay? This doesn't count. Number three, uh, promoting himself, promoting the Q&A. Number four, begging, this is a whale call, it's, a, it's been a very slow tonight, a whale call tweet. Then we have um, some more promoting himself, then some more promotion, then more promotion, then more promotion, then more promotion, then more promotion. Now, any per person with any amount of brain cells, literally any amount, will prefer to see one tweet that has hashtag ad on it and not 30 tweets that don't have hashtag ad on them, but are all blatant self-promotion and, and auto fellatio. That's what all of these fucking tweets are. This guy is sucking his little fucking penny. That's what it's about. I don't know anything about handheld emulators. Like oh yeah, support or slow night. If I uh, if I hit control F and I, and, and I write slow day or, or a slow stream or it's been slow, you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind the amount of, uh, of stuff that's gonna show up. Yeah, I don't know. Cause for the new songs that I've been doing, I use Pig Pig Go, which is by the way a revolutionary fucking uh, software solution. It's incredible how how easy it is to find quotes that fit and that that work. And I looked up, I love my life because that's the, what the song was about. Um, so many fucking things that came up. Uh, I looked up um, a slow day. Slow day is one of my favorite ones. It blows up. It's incredible. If you look up slow day, it blows your mind. All right. What's the next I question, Piggy? Of course, Ronnie the Johnny says I find those kind of streamers, the small time streamers. Okay. They enjoy their they, doing what they do in their communities a lot more too. Of course they do. Yeah. They're doing it because they love it. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love this, man. Bro, it's not that fucking simple, man. You can still love doing it, but it's just like too much. At some point, it's just too much. I really wouldn't. I would fucking do something else. I would. No, I'm you wouldn't. Just for a paycheck. I've been there, done that in my life, and I hated it. Every time I... Uh, no, I haven't seen that Pastor Miller video for uh, to hold DSP accountable for fraud. It's way too long. I had a job that I only did just for money. I saw it, but I haven't watched the actual video. Oh, speaking of which... Uh, you've probably seen the community post. I assembled a massive list of everybody that I could find that dedicates their channel to making DSP stuff. And it's the pinned message in this chat. So you can go and you can sub to all of them or the ones that you like. I don't care. Yeah, it's alphabetically fucking uh, ordered. And yeah, that's that's it. That's the announcement. Let's carry on. That's why I tough it out. And I, I want to stick with fucking you. tough it out. No, no. No, you literally contradict yourself within half an hour. You you do this because you are good for nothing else. You can't do anything else. Nobody's going to take you and fucking like accept you into doing anything else. They literally will not. And you can't handle it. That's what you're saying. It Well, dude, I'm still doing this because I love it. Even though it's hard and I have to beg, I love it. You don't love it. Meaning? You don't love it. We have a great time together and there's a reason and you're not entitled to getting paid I, I actually yeah soma julius cruz is, is also on the list i made several updates it started out with like 50 channels now we have 70 what 73 which is pretty chill because i added a bunch of people in post that i forgot the first time um and those are the people who are going to be the most the most meaningful to you you know no they're not oh this is my job so i need to fuck no them. you don't get to determine man you don't get to determine you don't get to determine because I can have a massive boner for PewDiePie and, and people that are massive and, and doctor disrespect and stuff like that and not give a rat's ass about the small creator. 
I literally can do that. But, you know, it's, it's fucking up to me. You don't get to tell us because... It's all fucking obvious, man. It's all obvious that he's trying to put himself into this small group of people that he pretends he's not talking about himself, but he's talking literally about himself. Those small creators that that fucking uh, they do it because they love it, man. Right. And you should like them and they deserve your support. Right. Hey, hint, hint. I'm that guy. Give me your fucking tips. And pay my bills by taking 400 sponsorships and then you find out they're rich. They have a fucking oh, you find out they're rich. So once they are rich, which is, by the way, an undisclosed number of uh, amount of money, it's an undisclosed amount of money that makes you rich. And once you hit that threshold, then you shouldn't be giving any money at all. Instead, it should all go to DSP. But uh, how do we determine if DSP is rich? Because he gets over like 100K a year, which I would say is fucking great. So I don't know. Is, is that... Hmm? Does that make him rich? Is DSP rich? By the way, does that mean I should stop giving him money? On paid trips that are paid for. They don't even pay for them. <laughs> okay. On a million dollars. Yeah. You went you went to WrestleMania DSP. You went to WrestleMania with John Rambo and it was all a tax write-off. So you have no right to tell anybody anything. You were doing the actual most asshole thing you could have done where you go to a fucking restaurant or, or on a trip and it's all a business expense because you record videos for the King of Hate HD. Everybody knows this. So don't be bullshitting somebody and trying to talk shit about other people that you don't know nothing about. Whatever. Wow, those are real genuine fucking content. Right? Real genuine. How are you genuine? How are you genuine? <clears throat> Nobody believes you with anything. They don't trust you enough to send you a tip because you might spread their personal information. Send them in, in some weird Discord. Oh, which, by the way, speaking of Discord, I want to show you something that uh, originally stems from the Discord leaks. But um, I found it from somebody on Twitter. I gave him credit in the tweet. So let's let's just uh, look at that. I shared it maybe yesterday. That is awesome. I fucking love that tweet. I would I would marry that tweet. Let me just see where it is. Oh, here here is the the first one let's let's just find it this is your your daily twitter segment even though we actually already had one of those here it is no it's not this it's like uh this is some some good fan art by uh dark c the phil some good ass fan art um now this is the second song this is obviously i need tips this is one of my favorite uh entries in in pick big go then we have this this is awesome gold dust watch this and we go a little bit back. Hold on. Look at that. It's another thing to concretely steal money from me. Remember this? That is what has happened here. This is concrete theft of money that should be going to things that I need to pay. I need to pay my taxes. I need to pay my back taxes. <laughs> I need to pay my mortgage. I need to pay the internet bill. I need Remember to this? When people stole money from him, when they when they hacked his account, I they stole money. It was theft. I've been robbed, and now it's coming up. Ooh. And this is the kind of shit you can find on Pick Pick Go. Just go and look up. I need tips or some kind of shit like this. Instant gold dust. Pick Pick Go is phenomenal, and I can't wait for uh, for hate army watch to finish developing that pick to speech it's going to be amazing especially for making songs like dude i can make my own pre stream we don't even need dsp anymore we can make our own fucking content let's see where where did i find it okay i love my life this is one of the gold dust uh, stuff you can look up oh here it is here it is all right this is an excerpt from from the discord leaks right from um 2020 okay so somebody got banned, and then DSP is going to unban them. That's the idea. Uh, now, I'm going to read the last uh, sentence that says here. Now that the trolls know all, all day how to do is bug you enough, they will just keep doing it. I just don't understand. Now, the question is, why would you unban somebody that was banned already? And now DSP's response is, because that's the fun of it. It makes them beg. It lowers them to a level where they know they can't troll anymore because it's an instant ban. And that's exactly what we're going for. You humble the troublemakers into submission and then the rest get in line. You know he'll be banned again, just like Kozatov and the others. 
Holy shit. This guy is something else. This guy is something else. Oh yeah, Steve, if you want more content like this, go watch the go check out the Discord leaks. There's plenty to read and and it's just like DSP's Discord, man. But this is like this is an amazing fucking post. It makes them big. Holy shit. He's literally a fucking cult leader. This fucking guy that loves gaming. The passionate guy. Passion Phil. Wow. Somebody fucking help me. Help! Crimson Tines, yeah. uh, where can you find his Discord? You can't. Uh, you can find the Discord leaks on Kiwi Farms. I tell people who do it for money, they kiss ass products that are garbage, but they promote it because they get a cut. Of course. Yeah, you did the same shit. You promoted Loot Crate, even though it was garbage. You promoted Chinese gaming chairs that are just generic Chinese gaming chairs taken from, like, eBay. Of course. But with a custom brand name on them. The sales says, do you think they'll announce anything of Beyond Good and Evil 2 at the Ubisoft conference? I have no clue. There, are, I, From what I'm to understand, the last we even heard about it was that it's in development hell and Ubisoft doesn't really care about the game anymore. What like, game? It basically lost a lot of prominence. I guess what happened was there was management shifts and, and project leads that, that moved around or whatever. And essentially the project, they don't really care about it anymore. It's, it's all but dead. So... Yeah, uh, like uh, AliExpress, Wish, that's where they come from, yeah. Not eBay, but like Chinese sites. No, fuck you. You don't make content, bro. And other content creators watch other content creators. So you can go and you can talk to them and you can say that you like their fucking video and you can hang out with them and you can talk to them and you can fucking like their tweets and you can follow them on Twitter. That's why. That's why they watch each other. I was making insane about hey, big ups for the gravy train. We pull up with the gravy train. Fucking money for just playing video games, kind of money. Uh, big ups, good hustler. Uh, for some reason, I was waiting for the TTS to kick in. Um, uh, big ups, good hustler for the um, for the gravy train. Grug word is law. Grug is judge, jury, and executioner. But Grug have big apology fetish. Bro, imagine like this is what real court was like. You just go there. And the judge comes in and you just have to beg them until they let you go. Just like, please, man, I'm never going to murder people again. Come on. That village in, in Africa that I committed genocide in? Come on, man. I'm a fallible fucking human. That was my depression. I was going through a terrible time. My girlfriend left me. Ad revenue was terrible. How was I supposed to not commit genocide? Come on, man. Please. Please let me go. Please. So I couldn't answer your question. That would be up to you to find. <laughs> I'm not the one. I'm not the watcher. I'm the creator. You know. Yes. No. You have to be both. You have to be both. To create, you need to consume, and then you get inspired by consuming. Not necessarily consuming, but you know, you, you watch other people's stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. Now look in the chat. Yeah. Imagine a hand graphs in court. <laughs> uh, Mr. Burdell, we sentence you to this much years in prison. Um, if you have good behavior, it might be reduced to this many years in prison. Okay, sound good? Take him away. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, this is hilarious. Happy Tart says, oh, you lost your passion years ago, respectfully. So, yeah. Because you say respectfully and you say an incorrect statement. <laughs> Fuck yourself respectfully. Your wife is a horse respectfully. You beg people every day respectfully. <laughs> yeah. I lo I lost yeah, it's respectful. For doing on-demand offline video. So oh, okay. Now, it's semantics. He had a different passion that is slightly different. That's uh, That somehow, suitably, suitably takes much less effort from, from making those videos. Yeah, sounds fucking good. On-demand. Across the country, I was hoping there was... The semantics. I was going to be able to do a variety of content. I'd be able to do a news show in front of a green screen. Well, also, I was doing my content. And what happened? It never materialized, okay? Then in 2016, I tried to reinvent myself with KO Gaming. Reinvent himself. Reinvent himself. He was trying to pretend he's not DSP because he wanted to run away from being DSP. But he loved himself so much that he couldn't pretend he wasn't DSP. He had to say, hey, what's up, you guys? This is Phil on behalf of KO Gaming. I've made 60,000 videos throughout the years. And then people that look at his channel and are like, yeah, this guy has like 5,000 subs, man. Let me look him up. 
and you find out he's fucking dark side phil and that's it and then is where the reinvention ends when you realize that the ko gaming guy and the the guy that jerked it off on stream are the same person and then youtube screwed me so all that stuff and it was youtube's fault i love for what i was doing of course i did i personally right now would never want to go back to being a full-time offline youtuber I hate why that. used to have such a good time right used to have a hot girlfriend and instead of a very plain looking wife uh used to get drunk in the morning play video games all night and get drunk all night dude this is fucking the bomb i would want to do this all the time and no he's a mature adult man there's more responsibilities such as the responsibilities dude i don't know boring now to me i want to interact with you guys all the time and have this fun conversation all the time this is what i love so yeah i lost my passion but man did i either get it back or get a new passion whatever you want to call it when i started yeah it was like college except he was like 35. <laughs> so different so different for me i love this man i do every day i love being here I wow love i love being here man enjoying games having fun this is what it's all about is is this why you love it so much because oh now he's looking at look the way the way this is uh this is paused it looks like he's looking at the tip skull if I could remove the, the player on YouTube, it would look like he's looking at the tip skull. I love this so much, man. Glance, glance, glance. All right, guys. Last chance to get a question in before I adjourn for the night. I would like to say thank you to those who did show with me for the end of Resident Evil 4. Thanks to those who were here for the last half an hour for this impromptu session and for those who the did, impromptu I session with tips and the like. thank you for that i appreciate that hey big ups uh lux guys can you gamble in chat today does this work because i gave everybody more points but i'm not sure if it works i'm not sure if the streamlabs bot is here at all anyways yeah you might be hearing a, a rattling noise from my microphone because i'm holding it in my hands it's not on the stand let me dock it real quick no, I don't watch TikTok. Oh, my God. All right, these would be stupid questions at this point. <laughs> Seriously. Hey, yeah, you can bet. Streamlabs is back. Am I hopeful for StarCraft 3? would be nice, but I don't know if I would even really be interested anymore. I haven't played a game like that in so StarCraft long. StarCraft fucking 3. Kind of not my thing anymore, you know? What is that fucking question, man? This is the depression sure. questions. Yeah, big ups, Carlos. Oh, Go away. Why does it have a Slim Jim? What? Not wrong with, with, with whiskey and coke, but <laughs> a fucking Slim Jim. Please keep my Slim Jims out of my drinks. Ugh. I wish you would give examples when you talk about people because you say people that are shilling actually. He says a lot of people I watch that shill. Yeah, I wish you could give fucking examples for people, Dark Side fucking Phil, and not just tell me there are plenty of people out there that have passion. Like who? You don't watch them. How do you know they exist? Because they must exist, right? Because when I say people, that means they exist. There's people that do this. Feel wow. Use and enjoy the thing. That's different. That's not shilling. Do you understand the difference? See, some people it's don't. not understand. shilling. Again, they think it's black and white. When I tell you, you think everything is black and white. You think there's massive people and there's people that are small but have passion, and nobody in between. Yeah. All right. I don't like people who shill. All right. Do you even know what shilling means? Shilling means selling something because you want to make a buck. If you are okay, like loot crate, like chairs, uh, like the beanbag. You like the product? That's not shilling, right? Like right now. But you can say you like the product. And later on, say that the product was bad and you didn't really like it, but you liked it because you got a partnership, which is exactly what you did with fucking Loot Crate, you lame brain asshole. If I was fucking asked idiot, by man. Hori to advertise... That's exactly what he did. He was asked by Hori to advertise their, their what was it, Demon X Machina fucking uh, Joy-Cons, and he loved them. He had nothing bad to say about him. Nothing bad. This headset that I've been nothing bad. They didn't pay him for it. They sent him the thing for free, and he had nothing bad to say about it. And that's not shilling because he loves it. But those other people that put a hashtag ad, they can't possibly like the product. They don't like it, right? They just do it for the money. They can't like it because I say so. 
and you should trust me because I'm gonna ban you. Sound good? I've been using for three months. Sound good. I love my life. Dramatically improve my gameplay sessions. I never have dramatic improvement. I would do it because I would say, dude, your product is amazing. <laughs> this thing is excellent. This what a fucking joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love this product. I would promote it. Here's the difference. Shilling is when you're just advertising something to make a buck doing it. But the thing is, people seem to think if the moment that someone's advertising something, it's bad. That's not true. No, that, but that's what you say. That's what you say all the time. When you see hashtag ad, you delete it because those people are dishonest. Why do they have to be dishonest? Why? Yeah. There's a difference between a paid advertisement oh. and a testimony. You okay, that? you fucking sack of shit. Sack of uh, semantic shit. DSP Gaming. Hori. Okay, let's go to Hori. No, not the dramatic story. This is garbage. If you've seen this, the Amazon driver wanted to steal his headphones. That's what he fucking said. He's a fucking idiot. Mini review, okay? Please note. This is the note we get. Please note, by the way. I received a review copy uh, of this product for free. However, now this is where the semantics kick in. It's a semantics aftertaste. Very robust, very flavorful. However, I'm not receiving any form of payment outside of the review product for this review. And my opinions are 100% my own. So this is not shilling. Despite he had nothing bad to say about this product, and he did not snort once in this video. That's not shilling, right? All right. Everybody understands. Different. Now we're on the same page. I don't think a lot of people get that, though. And that's the problem, too, is I'll be honest. With advertisement, it's hard to tell. A lot of the times, it's a, a fake testimonial. Fake right? testimonial. To say good things. Oh, yeah. Or not. How would you yeah, know? exactly, DSP. How would I know that when they sent you these fucking headphones, uh, these Joy-Cons, or whatever it's called, the split pads, whatever, I don't play Nintendo, uh, this thing. When they sent him this thing, how do we know he likes it? Despite his review being outstandingly positive. It's like one of those games with like 99% on Steam. Right. It's like, man, my, my only complaint is that there wasn't enough of this game. I wish there was more. I loved it so much. It was my favorite thing. So anyway, no. On a, yeah, also his his wife used them instead of him. So basically his wife was reviewing the product. Not bad. If someone actually backs a product and feels positively about it, then they Did he even play the game? I don't think he played uh Damon X fucking. I don't I don't think he did. It's just that's what they send him and he loved it. Good have the right to maybe do a paid advertisement for it and, and be truthful about it. But, but you're not you're nobody, man. You're nobody to tell people who should be making advertisement, who shouldn't be, and what they should say. Is, You're literally not... completely irrelevant. Completely irrelevant to the gaming scene. And completely unnecessary. Nine times out of ten, what you're seeing with these content creators is just for this. It has Just for this. Liking the product or nothing, they're taking the paycheck, you know? Yeah, and you stopped playing uh, Resident Evil 4 just for this. Yeah. Yeah, still couldn't hit 50 bucks. That's well, the sadness of man. Headphones now. Um. First of all, they're falling apart, which sucks. I only own them. Just, right man, here. his hairline is just like it's tilted on because you can't see my cursor, but uh, on the left side is just one direction. Other side is in a different direction. From the back is just a disaster. The sideburns on one side are completely going away. On the other side are there. It's an absolute just grotesque. Like somebody from uh, from Bloodborne or something like that. Absolutely, it's something else. The tail end of me using them. Just something else. Was coming out of the ear cup, and was I was about to fall apart when these showed up, luckily, and that kind of saved the day. Um, I like having backups. I'm the kind of person that I like having a a backup to fall on if something goes wrong. So God forbid my Hori headphones break. I probably would go back to using the Pulse temporarily until I could find a replacement or get another pair of the Hori. You see? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Besides Street Fighter, what were some of your favorite arcade games? Nobody cares. This gets a skip. All right, guys. Last chance for a question. And a last chance. It's the last hurrah. 40 bucks. Last chance for a question. Last chance for a contribution. Last chance for a contribution. Last chance, last chance for a contribution, eh? No, you can also send behind-the-scenes contributions. It's not the last chance. You can send him money anytime. That's uh, he's super flexible on receiving money. You can send him money anytime. Call of Duty games is Modern Warfare. 
Okay. And the most recent one that I liked was Black Ops Cold War, but Modern Warfare won't. All right. All right. Great opinion. Adds a lot to the discussion. Chick-fil-A near me. Yes, I've eaten them two or three times. I love the spicy chicken sandwich. That's all I've ever had there. It's very good. I don't know anything about Inscription Pickle Man. Never heard of it. People have told me about it. Say, oh, it's a good game. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you can look it up. You're a gamer, man. Come on. Fuck. Oh my god, why is he so bad? I don't know anything about this. You can literally pull it up on on the fucking screen. Just like I'm gonna do right now. Let's go find what in inscription is. Right? Inscription. Alright. Sounds good. Let's see. It's on Steam. Some video game people like apparently. It has like 97% on Humble Bundle. Wow, it's it's banging on Steam. Looks great. Oh, here you have somebody that is, I don't know, some, some cool trailer. It's a first person walking around and getting spooked simulator. Uh, 97%, hey, big ups for that. Looks cool. It's from uh, Devolver, which they published it, which means it's uh, some kind of chill indie game. And yeah, that's it. Pretty dope. That's what inscript in inscription is. It took me this fast to do it. And instead of telling you I don't know anything, dude. That's my business. You have a good night, Go Team Venture. Thanks, man. Yeah, you have a shit night, right. DSP. That's what last you deserve. Question. I'm going to answer one more question. So last chance, and then I'm, I'm out of here. How many people are banging your wife you at the same time? <laughs> All the time. That's one question. Come on. Just say a number. Now I'm getting no questions. No I'm questions. <laughs> yeah. No final Because your chat is questions. just like... Aliens, man. Great. Okay. Okay. Right, this feels like uh, like the vest streak, man. Okay, man. Last chance. Last chance for a contribution. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. If you ask me, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think anybody's going to send me money, man. Hint, hint. I don't know. Last chance. Last chance. Twice. Last chance. Third time. What is my favorite Italian dish? I don't have one. Because I'm a kind Italian of Italian dish. And I like to rotate between oh, you like variety. Then why, when you ate hummus, it blew your mind because you never had hummus before. You like variety. Of what? Of chicken and pasta? How much variety can you get there? Fucking variety guy. Look at his atrophied arms. Like never that. uses them. Spaghetti. No complexion on his hands whatsoever. Yeah, like pasta. Lives in a cave positively. Rigatoni. I like pizza. I like lasagna. I like a million Italian dishes. Hey, a million, and it happens, it happens so that the one he name drops are the most generic ones. They're all good, but still. All good. Have you ever farted on camera? Yes, I fart on camera all the time. You guys apparently don't hear it. Because, man, sometimes I'm rooting tooting here after a gassy meal, like a bottle of cheese or... Is this supposed to be a joke? Because you burp on camera, you snort on camera, you clean your throat on camera, and you blow your nose on camera. So farting would be not very impressive, if I gotta be honest. So I'm I'm not really buying the joke here that you don't fart on camera. Dairy and, di and at dinner, I'm farting up a storm and you guys apparently never hear it. Funny. Okay, okay that was supposed to be the last All question. Right. Close it down. All right, that's it. Let's see something else. We can watch something else. I wanted to go through the the ex mortis videos of uh, DSP a beggar journey. That shit is hot as fuck, man. Those videos are so good. But I have about maybe 30 minutes today, and then I'm, I gotta go plug walk. So I'm gonna be cutting it. Oh, let's see this. Hate Army Watch is back with this uh, with this video. The Sizzling with the Swine, episode 2. Let's see this. Uh, Michael Kane wants to know what I have for dinner. We had he had meatball subs with green bean. All right, nobody cares. Pasta with a spicy marinara. Nobody cares twice. A little disappointing. Not because of the pasta and not because of the marinara. Oh, why? Because your wife fucked it up. Because usually we get chicken meatballs from our local grocery store, and we've been getting these. I'm not kidding. For like two straight years, these are really, really good meatballs that we like to eat because they're chicken based, so you know they're better for you. And this asshole again is just way too quiet. But they taste amazing. For the first time in Wait, are they buying pre-made meatballs or like just just meatball, you know, like two years you know. they did not have them at the local grocery store. They were out, but they had all sausage from the same company. 
So we got chicken Italian. Bro, I'm so confused. It didn't taste the same. You know, it tasted like a sauce. Oh, yeah, we, we covered this. Let's see. Because, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I, I went through this rambling. Let's see what he talks about. Okay. It, you'd think this is the end of it. We'll find out. <laughs> I love, I love these, like, mini cam shots of, of just, like, no game, just his face. And, and just zoned in Phil. Zoned in Phil is what I, what I fucking buy every day. Holy shit. Okay, we can start with the, with the ex mortis video, with the first one. The Beggar's Journey. Because there's a lot of lore that I haven't covered. And it's really well packaged and it's really well delivered. And he's a really funny guy and I like those videos a lot. And I'm gonna be sending you links to all of them. Uh, so you can, can spread some love. Big ups to Scribbler Jones for the sub. Uh, now there's also a video about Tevin, which is a, a Tevin lore, which is really hot, but I don't have time for that today. Instead, we're going to start with the first one, with the beggar's journey, and then we're going to end it for today. And maybe next stream I'm going to cover all of the other ones, because there's, what, what, nine parts, and he's only until like 2018. So yeah, there's more to come, but they're all really good and they're pretty long. So you can go in and watch all of them and, you know, you know what I mean. Holy shit. Dark South Field is one of the worst gaming vlog accounts that I have ever come across on the internet. For those of you who think I'm coming off a little too harsh when I say this, you should probably stick around until the end of the video. And I assure you, you'll probably feel just as disgusted as I am. I know at this point, DSP is widely known as one of the worst gamers on the internet, but it kind of goes deeper than the surface level stuff you probably know DSP for. And I think we all know what I'm talking about when I say this. I got pro completely exposed. Absolutely. You, you, did. you didn't I even know, know the camera was on. Like, every inch of, you know, every guy? inch of my thick and balls. Are you the guy? It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? So go ahead and get yourself comfortable, because we're going to take a look into the morality of Dark Side Field. Going far back in time, before DSP got his start on YouTube, his rise to infamy started out as an average MGC player. And when I say average, I'm being nice. <laughs> he was fucking terrible at fighting games. But there was one game where he was fairly better than average. And that game was Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Now, at this point in time, Street Fighter 2 is a very old game. It's 31 years old. Even though its legacy paved the way for the current fighting games we have today, Street Fighter 2, in my opinion, doesn't hold up to the other fighters we have now, and DSP still plays it. I'm jumping, it's the lag. It won't let me jump when I need to. See? I'm trying to jump in reaction to the sonic boom and the game won't let me, because it's too delayed. Oh my fucking god. Dude, are you kidding me? He won because of lag, it's unbelievable bullshit. How much did the guy fucking use the lag switch? Rip. No, I wasn't muted. I just what? wasn't saying I anything. I did that! <laughs> I jumped and pressed medium kick. Fuck that. I was doing jumping medium kick, and his comes out first. Oh, uh, come on. Oh, shit. But then. Now, don't get me wrong. DSP does have very good knowledge on the game, but the way he plays is very pattern-like. During his Street Fighter 2 screams, he loves to kind of pick his opponents and uses the game's cheesy bullshit to win. Yeah, just fucking and cheese the game. He's a player and never uses scrub tactics to win. Almighty Cinnamon cheered. He said, way to spam projectiles and match supers, you scrub. That's right. I do every dirty tactic in the book to win. It doesn't matter if it's fair or fun. I just use top tier strategies. So where's the where's the self awareness there, DSP? You get mad when other people play. Hey, like big ups LSB. Yeah, literally, bro. Like watching the GM <laughs> The biggest the fucking ball, hypocrite. The best player they ever do this shit. When everybody else is abusing the fucking strategies, they're shitheads. They should literally die. When I do it, that's perfectly chill, dude. Because I'm a streamer, and uh, it makes sense somehow. The people he plays against have no idea what the fuck they're doing, and he would stay there, bending up the same three players until they leave the lobby somehow Goji thinks that Jose gets into the room. Now I have to quit because Jose ruined it. Jose fucking ruined it and I have to leave the lobby and that's the end of my fun in that lobby. That was 45 minutes of spankings against those people. They were getting whooped, man. And now Goji Tanks is here, so I ignore that lobby. I joined a different one. You see, DSP doesn't like competition. He doesn't like losing in horrible fashion to a player that's just simply better than No, he competition is sucks, His man. Ego won't allow for that. He is content with Puff stopping the same three players over and over again because he never learned how to grow from failure. 
Now, back before he was hated on YouTube, these people out of attending tournament after tournament, spending thousands on traveling fees and losing a shitload of money matches. He genuinely believed that he had the skill level to compete with other top tier players at the time. The result from these matches, however, would end up exactly like how you think it would play out. He would lose quite often and have this shitty attitude that earned contempt for most players. Believe it or not though, there was actually some FGC players who would bag up Darkside Field and even defend him for some of the backlash he would receive from most players. We got the man of all hate. The man of all hate. Oh, look, the body language is great. Arms crossed, do not approach me. I'm not open for conversation. BSP. Heck, heck, heck. Dark side feel. Mega uncomfortable. Oh, no, he's being touched by a, a person of color. Can't bite his nails. This was before the nail biting part. Because feel. feels cool. Feels cool, anyhow, man. Anyhow, feel. How you feel about ST? Notice in that video, this sucks, man. Referred to as the King of Hate. This is a title DSP still somewhat clings on to this day with series named Axe the King or Feasting with the King, but this nickname started all in his FGC days. Now, DSP would tell you he came up with this name for having gaming thoughts and opinions some would call controversial, but I believe the more accurate theory for this name came about for his rude behavior and bad manners he would have for his fellow players. <laughs> DSP, stop recording. No one gets a shit. Play. You can't hold up a tournament. Where am I playing? Where am I playing? You still haven't told me. <laughs> yeah, the fucking incel rage. Jesus Christ, man. You want me to run your fucking tournament for you? You want me to run your fucking tournament for you? But yeah, this was back in the days when he used to also participate and organize stuff. When he was super uh, arrogant. And uh, yeah, that's when he had friends because they basically used them for, I don't know, paying for their stuff. And he tried to buy his fucking friends. They all didn't like him, but it was comfortable for them to be around him so he can pay for shit and organize tournaments so they didn't have to do anything. But just chill and play games. <laughs> And he was the that that guy that didn't care how much money he spent, so he would just take credit card like cash advances and shit, and just just throw money in on garbage. Pretty crazy dude. With all this being said, it's pretty crazy where we got from then. I don't want to shy away from the simple fact. DSP was pretty good at Street Fighter 2. not to an amazing standard, but pretty good nonetheless. He was even good enough to take out Justin Wong from a tournament, a win that clearly went straight to that nigga's head. First of all, a lot of people, you know, they're nut huggers, dick riders, they say <laughs> nut Justin huggers. Wong is the god of fighting games and all that. I think a lot of people just got shut up. That's my two cents. And just as a proof. Hey, big ups, Leo know, Charles. I'm Justin gonna Wong see that video. You know, invincible. Justin Wong was pretty much beating everyone on the East Coast in Super Turbo until I stepped up a couple years ago and I beat him twice, once at Evo East 2006 and once in 2007. And basically then he came to me and he said, Phil, you're the best Super Turbo player on the East Coast. I mean, hands down, you know, and it's not my specialty. You know, I try to learn this top tier stuff, but- Bro, you need to, to, to fucking get off your dick. This is not that important. Playing video games and being the best guy from somewhere playing a video game, this shouldn't be your, your fucking ride or die and you sh it shouldn't be your your clout uh justin wong is kind of crown a subject when talking about dsp as you can see in that video he talked about justin wong when i a beat somebody in video I'm game bringing up a taboo subject when i say this but he plays a theme on dsp's ever rampant racism for asians in china they say Chiki Chang. now i don't want to jump into a taboo minutes subject. minutes of just like straight climate change propaganda Join the like hour. straight up like oil lobbyist bullshit okay and he just goes on a fucking tangent about like dark side Phil or whatever the <laughs> what? his name is like oh he's, he gets my Porsche like oh man like I mean he's cool like dark side Phil right, he's cool but it's like you should listen whatever to his, the dude's name is not dark side Phil whatever. yeah it's uh, an, an accidental <laughs> name drop for DSP he didn't, didn't even mean to say DSP <laughs> DSP isn't finally remembered in the MGC never you mind see? that was uh Hassan DSP is a very big WWE fan, and as you can see in some of the interviews he had, dude loves to eat crackers. A heel with calling out people and such. And if a you know big fan of, DSP, of uh, he really easy to eat crackers. To fuck up. And all of this came back to bite him in the ass when he got into a little feud with Jaha and Mike Watson. Oh yeah, they wanted to clap his ass. With DSP. Yeah, my like, boy. I know these these clips have been on the on on the stream before, but it's part of this video, so we're watching all of it again. Because what DSP does, uh. Like, in person, he's all nice to me and shit, but in per and then 
when he makes a YouTube video, he, he thinks he's all hard and crap. Uh huh. So that's what gets me pissed off. Like, do you guys remember the whole thing with DSP and like, like with the West Coast people where they almost like he he was like really scared because he was about to get yeah, beat. That was a Skype sound. Yeah, I remember that in San I think, Diego. I think Java approached him at Evo or something, right? Evo West. Uh, Evo West was at the San Diego yeah. event. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think like Jaha and like Watson were like looking for him if he ever came down to one of the Evo events or something. Yeah, so like he was like, I heard he was like crying and everything. So that was pretty, <laughs> pretty funny. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when DSP was leaving with like him and a <laughs> they all wanted to wreck his ass. They all wanted to wreck his ass. A couple of his boys. It was uh. Yeah, I think it might be Fred on the on the audio because he used to do and go and do a bunch of like interviews about dsp that's when it was time to like roll People up that used to know them outside and we caught them outside and i'm there with hey big up steve see you around man box and shit that's how i rolled <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and i was with a couple of my fucking boys and uh they were getting up in like you know dsp's fucking friends faces too just to fucking make sure none of them got crazy but they were all fucking shitting bricks okay and uh and then to be honest, there's another guy there. I don't know if you guys ever heard of his name's Desmond Pinkney. He's a executioner. He was a mom. No, I don't know. Player. I remember him being Does there. He One of his friends was fucking videotaping this. Too bad if he masturbated on a stream. Anywhere. Maybe he freaking recorded a sex tape over it or some family vacation, but it never hit the internet. And uh, fucking, he was videotaping it, and I'm fucking getting up in his face, asking why the fuck he's talking shit and what the fuck's his problem, and he's fucking just. You know, just fucking cowering and all fucking scared and him and his friends are trying to fucking leave and we're not letting them. And then, you know, I pretty much, to make a long story short, I pretty much just fucking told him, hey, you fucking lost one match. You're going to fucking pay him fucking $10 mm -hmm. or fucking $20 because that's the percentage of fucking the matches that uh, he would have fucking lost. Which, <laughs> and fucking, you know, just scared fucking him shitless until he fucking, you know, he paid the fucking like $10 or whatever. To fucking shave him, then we let him fucking leave, and then he fucking got the fuck out of there with the quickness, you know. He just yeah, hey, I don't. I'm not fucking sure what this fucking guy just fucking said, but it fucking sounded like uh, they wanted to fucking beat DSP's fucking ass up. Sounds like, sounds fucking good. <laughs> fucking. He just turns fucking white. Oh, uh, he funny. fucking he fucked off, and then he fucking fucked, and then they fucked the fucking fuck out of this guy. I talk so much shit on the internet, yeah, but when you run into him in fucking person. He's just fucking, you know, turns white as a goat. Sounds fucking good, dude. Night. That wasn't the only time DSP let his mouth almost get him into a public beatdown. Dark was, fucking was, side that, fucking Phil. There was another well-known Street Fighter player that he started a beef with, and that player's name was Viscont. There's gonna come a point when you forget about what happened. It's Viscont. <laughs> Big ups to fucking Viscont. And you're gonna want to come back at me. And you're gonna want to wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. <laughs> Taste of my dick out of my mouth. This is way too much fucking money for just playing video games. Hey, big ups Black Mage for the for the gravy train uh, tip who says fucking way too many times that I'm gonna say, but imagine that that I did. <laughs> big ups. Yes, the same Viscount we all know and love. Now, I did some research on the subject after hearing about it and found this Reddit post from Viscai himself about the time him and DSP almost came to blows. I'll read it out for all you illiterate niggas out there. Yeah, this is why I love these fucking videos. Because if you follow this stream for quite some time, I hate reading shit on here. I hate reading massive paragraphs. But now he's going to read it remember. instead. He's going to read this massive wall of text instead of me. And I cannot be grateful enough. So please go and like his video. I pasted it earlier in chat. I'm going to paste it again. Please. Please go. I hate reading this stuff. And when I watch a, a DSP video and there's just a bunch of text with no like text to speech or anything, I get massive depression. That makes me want to call people shills on Twitter. Remember how the whole thing started. Deep depression. Like, yeah. Incurable. Either Evo 2005 or 2006 because I was working at some hole in the wall Mexican boxing gym at the time and I quit that place in July 06 when I moved away. I know a money match was involved, and I know Phil had been talking trash for weeks and months before I finally got sick of it. I'm pretty sure Favorite 55 is right when I challenged him to a money match and knew he wasn't going to accept it. Yeah, I hate reading, like, like, wall. like, walls of text. Not just hate reading in general. I just hate reading those posts. Fight me in real life at Evo. Especially on stream. And I accepted it. 
I can't remember what the game was because even though I was thoroughly washed up in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, he had literally zero shot at me in that game. Mix up 10 on him at ECC and he wouldn't have done any better on me in CVS 2 or 3. He stood about the same chance as Marvel. If he was Street Fighter, I don't know why he would decline because even though I was good at the game, that's the only game he was relevant at on a national level, so there's no reason for him to decline. Anyways, that part's not important. It started over a money match challenge that I and everyone else knew he was going to bail on. From here, it turns into what sounds like a total farce, except I can assure you that it was 100% serious, which makes both of us look like total complete fucking idiots. So first, Phil was like, okay, well you have to sign some documents because if I kill you, I don't want to be responsible. And I was like, whatever. Then there was an actual serious negotiation over who the ref was going <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. He said they wanted to... DSP was like, you have to sign this waiver because if I kill you, if I kill you, I don't want to be responsible. So fucking tough. This guy was beating everybody up. He was destroying them. If I kill you. Holy <laughs> shit. We said it on Walter from Connecticut, but I don't remember this part either. Then there was an honest to God negotiation of a weight in that we were going to have to do weigh-ins and everything. Again, I'm not making any of this up as dumb as it sounds. This absolutely happened. Finally, it was agreed that he wouldn't have to go on the dial to fight me, and it was settled that we were going to fight, and it was going to have MMA rules. It would have a referee, and we signed waivers. God, I was dumb in the mid-2000s. Anyway, so we agreed upon this early in the year and from here on is where the story gets weird. So apparently Phil was under the impression that this wasn't going to happen and that this was just internet shit talk. But a few people from the west coast went out to one of the east coast tournaments and told him that A. I was taking this seriously and was going to fight him. B. Had probably been in more gym fights in the past two months than he ever been in his life. So one day Phil instant messages me on AIM and tries to back out. He was like, hey, so how about this? How about we pretend like we're going to fight and then when the whole crowd is around us, we both do DX crotch 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 trots to the crowd. It'll be such a goof. Let's have a it's fake really fight. Happy. And I'm Let's just have like, a fake fight. Are you fucking kidding me? I honestly couldn't believe he was pulling this and I was still mad about the whole thing and actually wanted to fight him. But dude, remember to sign the waiver in case in case I kill you. I told him I wasn't going to do any of that trolling, but if you wanted to drop it, then fine, I'll drop it. We can be adults about this, and that's pretty much what happened. I'm not going to jump him from behind in the parking lot or get in his face and threaten him. From that point on, there was never really any problems between him and I. In fact, the next year when Evo West was in San Diego, I let him stay at my place. That year when Mike Watson and Jaha were about to kill him in the parking garage. <laughs> I between them and defuse the situation. Wow. He later would go they were going to kill his ass. To have Seems like every time he went to Evo, somebody wanted to be the fuck out of him more serious problems with Watson and Jaha but I made sure that wasn't going to happen while he was staying with me generally don't hold grudges so even though I remember being really pissed off at the time by the time the parking garage thing happened a year later I was over it so yeah it was a really dumb story and makes me look just as bad as him well I I'm gonna read this in a second let him just finish a crowd of people but I was dumb too but that's what happened so as you can see uh biggest black mage triple six for the for the dollar uh, fucking Phil was so fucking hood strong that his fucking fists were registered fucking weapons because he could fucking kill you like fucking one punch fucking man. Fucking beast, dude. He was beasting. He was a bodybuilder. He was destroying people. Uh, whose channel is this? This is, uh, X Mortis's channel. You can see it here below. And the video to the... But the link to the video is, uh, I'm gonna show it, send it again. Those two stories, it shows Actually. DSP is nothing more than a legit here it coward. Is. He would talk you can all go like behind it. your back, but the second you get in his face and push back, he gets quiet and tries to hide and deflect. It's the reason why nowadays, he wouldn't dream of leaving his big, safe, gated community unless it's to go out and get groceries with his horse. The only power he has is banning people out of chat because he knows that's all he yeah, has. Yeah, go sub, he watch all these videos because there, there's like eight more of them and they're all good. Yeah, because he will ban and block you and then he'll talk shit when you can't respond. If someone has a mic in a multiplayer game, he will shut off the whole game because he can't talk shit to save his life. And even if he could, it doesn't matter. Everyone in the FTC and pretty much out of the community knows Phil is a grade A bitch. Don't ever let Phil tell you he doesn't need the FTC. They were doing fine before him and they're doing even better now that he's gone. 
in my opinion, he was never a real FGC player to begin with. He was only good at Street Fighter 2. I mean, was he was never there. like a, a pillar of the community or something. Did the rest of them. He, he only... was never, he was just like a fucking toxic ass guy that there was throwing money all over the place. He played Street Fighter 2 on screen consistently because he knows that he would get fucked up in anything else. Look at Fighters, Mortal Kombat, or hell, even any modern Street Fighter game besides Street Fighter 2. He's the perfect example of what a scrub is and he'll remain that until the day it all ends for him. Darkseid Field is the biggest log cow to ever come out of the FGC. Alright guys, this is possibly the end of part one. Um, I know I don't usually do videos like this on my channel, but I just wanted and to... And yeah, that's the end of part one and the end of the stream. Thanks everybody for sticking around. And uh, this has been cool. Now I'm going to play those two new songs that I released in the past two days. And that's going to be it. Go subscribe to X Mortis for this chill video. And next time we're going to watch the rest of his stuff. And uh, slowly we're going to make our way through the beggar's journey. You know what I mean? And yeah, that's it. Uh, big ups. Let's uh, let's see the slow day, and I love my life, and that's gonna be it. I'll see you around. It's it's been a rough year. Why does Phil always have to mention that there's a tip scroll on the stream? Why does he have to mention if it's a slow day for contributions? And why does he have to bring that up? Big ups, gear dad. Mm. Very slow day for support. Please tip me. I need tips tonight. I jump on stream. Obviously, I need tips. Pay my taxes. Pay my back taxes, pay my utilities, pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill, pay my utilities. Very slow day for support. Been 47 minutes and only the third tip of the day. I really appreciate that. I need that way more. Pay my taxes, pay my back taxes, pay my utilities, pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill, pay my utilities. I'm a positive guy. I focus on positivity. I tell you guys every day on my stream. I'm not a person who revels in hurting others to get over. I will put on positive, fun gameplay content for you guys, and I will continue to be successful that way. And if I fail, I fail, but at least at the end of the day, I can say, hey, it was a slow day. It's been a very slow day for support. Please tip me. I need tips tonight. I jump on stream. Obviously, I need tips. Pay my taxes, pay my back taxes, pay my utilities, pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill, pay my utilities. Very slow day for support. It's been 47 minutes, and only the third tip of the day. I really appreciate that. I need that way more. Pay my taxes, pay my back taxes, pay my utilities, pay my mortgage, pay my internet bill, pay my utilities. Please tip me. I need tips tonight. I need to pay bills over the weekend. I appreciate those who contribute in any way. But please, if you can tip me, do that rather than these super chats and, and membership. I need that way more, okay? All right, that's the last one, you guys. Uh, see you around. Thanks, everybody, for your contributions. Very charitable and robust. And I'm going to see you next time. I love my life. I have so much fun every single day. You're bagging. I love my life. I have so much fun. Everyone hates me. I have an emptiness in my life. Oh man, there's something huge missing from my life. I need a large group of friends. All I do is sit around drinking gin all day. Ladies and gentlemen, I play mobile games. Yes, I spend money on mobile games. I love my life. I have so much fun every single day. You're bagging. I love my life. I have so much fun. Everyone hates me. I love my life. I have so much fun. Every single day. You're bagging. I love my life. I have so much fun. Everyone hates me. Bagging for $10 donations and $20 donations to pay your electric bill, to pay your fucking rent. All right? I get it. I'd hate me too. See you, Phil. Have a good one. Hello. For now.